All righty. Let me know if anyone's here and if you can hear me. It seems like my, my Discord may be broken. Hello, Styrofoam P, Literal Trash, the fifth penguin question mark. Thank you for the 31 months. I appreciate it. Hello, Mango Fett, Bleak Werewolf, Cleftian, Castly. Uh, one sec. Hold on. I don't know why the fuck my, my Discord's being weird. Uh, hello, Skewy, Trinis, Kyrie, Minsky, Third World Weeb. Dad is not a phone, Fibical, Midnight Note, West Gray Fox, Augmented, uh, Seamus the Turtle. Thank you for the 45 months. I appreciate it, dog. How are you? Hello, Charizard. Miracle Johnson, Abyssal Spirit, I like to paint. Thank you, Third World Weeb, for the 42-month resub. Hello, Birdskin. Uh, hello, Siphonia, Damias, Chase, Woodkin, Kazakh, Pamirum, The Beans, Rumbles, Ghost, Dry Crobe, Spicy. All right. My Discord made me... Made me fucking do the announcement thing twice, which is really cool. Uh, thank you, Invalid Mac, for the one-year resub. That's a very nice butter dog. Hello, Zuri Fajita. Jack Jack, Tally Tenenbaum, thank you for the 49 months. Uh, hello, Yo-Yo, Robo MU, Need the Milk, Zagabus, Pearl, Salison, Torpal Duck, uh, Milkman, Joy Metal, thank you for the 51 months. Double posting. I know, I know. It's You used to be able to be banned for that back in the day in forums. Like, it was illegal on a lot of forums to double post. You would actually get in moderator trouble if you consistently made a habit of posting twice in a row. We used to live in a nightmare land. I thank you, Pearl, for the 81-month resub. User was banned for this post. Man, I... Fuck. I, the only person who gets banned... Is literally Minecraft boy. He made another account, Pearl, on Sunday. He's been making Sunday accounts to say the same stupid fucking message. It's the only person who gets banned. No fuck. Yeah, literally. I I know because you can plug their name into the Twitch following, and it's the same order of people that <laughs> fucking Minecraft boy used to follow. Uh, it's it's really cool. Uh, thank you, Sadaskovich, for the sixty-eight months. How are you? Hello, Diagram Die, Haystacks, Repu Plums. What is he saying? I remember when you used to play good video games. Now you just play shitty indie video games. And it's like, okay. <laughs> Some variation of that. What's going on, Jiggly? Splitting, Dampy, Mukoki, Metalco, Kratak. Oh, so, at least he gives the mod something to do, right? I'm trying to think. The last person I banned was Shub from the Discord, but not. I, I don't think I ended up banning them in Twitch. Like, they could come in here and talk some shit whenever they'd like. Not that they ever watched the streams, but, you know, the option is there. Uh, thank you, Leighton, for the 43-month resub. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Enjoy. Uh, hello, Heated Milk Wang. Shime. Really, really good at not banning people. Uh, one of the best, I would say. Hello, Louis V2. One brick to head. Please, dude, I went outside to piss, and I opened my mouth to yawn, and a bug flew inside of my throat. Like, literally five minutes before I started the stream, I, I got deep-throated by an insect. I ended up voring a bug. So, Shub, is that Shuby person right? No. Hello, Karakthu. Gross? Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I'm not opposed to eating bugs. If they tasted good, I would do it. One of those days, huh? One of those weeks, man. I don't know. It's been, it's been fucking, <laughs> it's been a weird week. Suicide bugs are the worst. Hello, Kia Boost. Do you think Sif or Otter can be aliens? They definitely are. Your roasted crickets are the shit. I mean, you live in the, okay, but Pearl, hear me out on this. I don't know. I don't remember if you like shrimp, but I love shrimp. I think shrimp are fantastic. Lobster, crab, mwah, mwah, mwah. Eat all that shit. All day buffet. I don't give a fuck. And every time you talk about eating the, these delicious creatures of the sea, you always get someone going, ah, well, they're just like the bugs of the sea. Uh, every time. Like, you're envisioning the yellow emoji with the buck teeth. Every fucking time. It's like talking about the weather, where there's always some fuck who's like, well, you don't know what heat actually is. I live in Dubai, and it's 115 degrees right now. So the point is, I don't give a fuck. Maybe they are the bugs of the sea. Maybe that means the bugs of the land also taste good. You know, it's all a matter of perspective, right? I thank you, Punk Slayer, for the 54-month resub, and Sir Pisley for the 16 months. Keep up the great streams. Well, thank you. Hello, Ashtanga. Most creative name. 
Two hours of my life watching pros try to make bugs taste good. They don't, though. Well, you know, for a long time, we thought lobster was dog shit. If you, if you frequent forums or discussions that talk about uh, cheap cuts of meat, you'll hear that, like, bull tail or ox tail or whatever the fuck used to be so cheap and nobody liked it. Chicken wings used to be so, a cut of meat nobody fucking liked. And then people found out how to make it good. So I'm holding out hope that people can make a, make a killer grasshopper stew. I think it's possible. Is it likely? Maybe not. But you never know. Everyone I've talked to has eaten bugs that they enjoyed them. But on the other hand, they've eaten bugs. I ate fire ants when I was a kid. I thought they were crunchy. Hot dogs used to be cheap. Hot dogs still are cheap if you go to my movie theater. One dollar hot dogs. You can get like nine of those bitches and watch the Spider-Verse and sit there and cream yourself over Miguel while eating hot dogs. You can pretend it's his hot dog. Hello, autistic fish sticks. Were they fire or mid? I think it's hard to make a hot dog bad. It's like chicken tendies. You can't really fuck it up. Hello, Gata. What's up? Hello, Barmic. A Jono, Reshiram, Blueberry, Brioche. Do you like the Spider-Verse? So, I've actually been thinking about this because I'm trying not to be so much of an obstinate person whose entire personality revolves around disliking things. Generally, I don't like superhero movies. I thought Spider-Verse was all right. Um, but, you know, it was a super visually impressive movie. Like, I'm going to say nice things. I really liked the way uh, it was animated. I thought it was very impressive. I definitely prefer it to, like... I don't I don't know how you would describe Pixar's current way of animating characters. It looks like Uncanny Valley Steven Universe to me. I don't like that very much. I'd much rather every movie look like Spider-Man. The only thing I am not the biggest fan of is when it uses that kind of laggy, stuttery animation stuff. But that's, you know, nitpicking. Hope the game goes well tonight. I've heard this game is a flaming pile of dog shit, so I don't think it will. But that's part of the fun. You know? The animation in the Spider-Verse movies really feels like a labor of love. Yeah. Yeah, I really like how there's different styles of animation. Although, very minor spoilers for Spider-Verse, I guess. There's this one scene that's supposed to be super serious. You, If you've seen the movie, you probably know which one. They're having, like, a super serious heart-to-heart, man-to-man, got, like, a bunch of onlookers. And then, like, in this super serious scene, it pans over to a Spider-Man who looks like he's, like, from the fucking Neo Geo or something. And I burnt, I started fucking laughing in the movie theater because, like, it was still serious. It was, it, like, the, the tone remained the same, but it was just, like, this fucking, like, little cartoon piece of shit who looks super out of place giving this heartfelt diatribe, and it was, it was just funny. I don't know. I, I was the only one who laughed at it, though. I felt like an asshole. I think everyone else was, like, enamored with it and glued to the screen. But I just started cracking up. So I think my brain might be a little fucked. Uh, what's going on, Balder? Couldn't stand the little frame rate animation. The original Spider-Verse is good as the movie was. I get why they... It didn't feel as bad in the second one. Like, the second one, I didn't really notice it. Maybe I've just gotten used to it. Maybe they didn't use it as much. I'm not sure. It's a, oh, I was sick, Mad Kate King, so I only got six hot dogs. Uh, I was feeling under the weather. Another day total. How are you, man? I'm fucking, you know, I'm, I'm having the time of my life. Living the fucking dream. Storming every day. 90% humidity. 100 degrees. I don't know. I feel like with the way the weather is here, it's next to impossible to be in a positive mindset. But maybe that's just me. Puss in Boots was really good, but I had the same low. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Puss in Boots was all right. I'm just, I'm not a movie guy. I need to start watching like old ass David Lynch movies where I don't understand fucking anything. That's my, I like Skinkamering for fuck's sake. You know, okay, you want a nuclear take. I, I liked Skinker Marink more than Puss in Boots and Spider-Verse. <laughs> if you want me to just, like, fucking put napalm on my dick and light it on fire. That's my nuclear take of the day. And I say that without a hint of irony. I thank you, Draconite, for the 16-month resub. I appreciate it. For fuck's sake, man. No, no, no. It's per- perfectly understandable. Uh, I could explain it to you, but I don't think you care. Are we doing another yearly skink on my dink stream night? I mean, 
I don't know. Gotta watch Bo of Afraid if you don't want to... Hey, I love not understanding what's going on. Because one of my least favorite things about watching movies, especially Hamburger Shonen, a.k.a. superhero movies, is I always know what's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I know there's not going to be any loss of significant consequence. Nobody important is going to die, and if they do, they'll come back. The hero's going to win. You know, it's all, it's just, I don't know, dude. It just always feels like there's no fucking stakes to me because I always feel like I know what's going to happen. Sometimes I'm wrong, but I just, I don't know. I would love a superhero movie where, like, the superhero dies. Like, maybe, a, like, he gets, he gets mobbed by a bunch of people with torches and, like, he has a bad day and he manages to get killed. <laughs> like, that would be awesome. That would be so sick. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I kind of want to talk more about Spider-Verse and the stupid shit I was saying to Autumn about what I, would make me like that movie better. But uh, it's important uh, It's important to remember, It's I'm not saying the movies are bad. I just don't, I don't like them that much because I feel like it's too, it's like the same fucking thing with a different coat of paint. Hello, kiss me, I'm Dracula. Like, if you enjoy superhero movies or any kind of movie, I'm glad you enjoy it. But I like weird, esoteric shit where I have no idea where it's going to go. And it's, like, genuinely just a mind fuck. You know? That's exactly what Skinkamarink is. Skinkamarink was nonsense. And I loved every minute of it. Uh, thank you, Misa Coco, for the 39-month resub. I appreciate it. A24 movie? What the fuck is A24? I love St. Romain. What would be Tolo's canon event? Uh, Rajang donkey punching my mom. Watchman kick ass in it. Yeah, I actually, I, I did like Invincible. Like, that is what, I, I watched that and I enjoyed it. I thought it was, it wasn't the best thing in the fucking world, but it was probably the best superhero thing I've ever watched because it was just, I don't know. It, it was pretty good. I'd, I'd probably watch more if they came out with it. Are you going to watch the Backrooms movie? Maybe we could watch it on, on, on like a Discord stream night. We could all sit here and, and eat $1 glizzies and watch the Backrooms movie together. In Hereditary, The Lighthouse, Midsummer. I really wanted to see Midsummer, but I never got around to watching it. Hello, Genso. Can I ask an ignorant question? I mean, you do every day, Mr. Coco. Uh, go ahead. Hello, Microtonal Man. I do, too. You know, I... Wait, so, Misa, I would argue that most questions are ignorant. Otherwise, you wouldn't be asking the question, right? Glizzy is a hot dog. Yeah, I don't know. It's just what the broccoli heads call it now. Hello, Rafa. Shoot, that was... I, you know, I... Uh, what was that fucking one called? I know what you're talking about. I saw that too. It was Glass was the last one, and I didn't like Glass. But the one before it... I cannot remember what the fuck it was called. It was the dude with the like the 17 different personalities. Split. Yeah, I, I like that one. That one was good. I enjoyed that. Uh, I, I didn't like the sequel as much. And I never saw the first in the trilogy, I guess. But the split was fun. Hello, Jerk Ops. Laser Cat. They make more of the Invincible animation. The comic's really good. I like the ending twist with Split. Really liked Unbreakable as well. It's your favorite game of 2023 been so far? Oh, fuck. Um, it's a good goddamn question. Probably, does it have to be a game that came out in 2023 or something that I played in 2023? The distinction's important and it's going to change my answer based off of it. It's, it is not Gollum. <laughs> it, is, it is not Gollum. Played uh something you played this year uh First Land, Worm Game. There is I I think that game gripped me harder than basically anything outside of maybe fear the first Fear and Hunger. If it's something that came out this year, oh man, probably My House Dot Wad. Just because those are like they're just stupid. It's nonsense. It's just esoteric bullshit that 99% of people are going to play for five minutes, say, this is fucking dumb. What kind of idiot enjoys this pretentious bullshit? And then watch a YouTube essay on it. <laughs> That's my favorite kind of game, you know? Uh, hello, Mothman. Happy 69th birthday. Is it actually your birthday? 
I just lost a game of chess to a seven-year-old. It happens. Hello, Anchromancer. Oh, it's important to remember even legends such as Dark Side Phil get owned by small children from time to time. Yeah, sorry. Let me let me sing you the birthday song. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Mothman and Misa Coco. Really excited for Misa Coco's Bloodborne stream tomorrow. Happy birthday. To you. Hello, Jess Long. What's up? Hello, Birdie. Drove by a business with the Adam DSP today and had to do... My... Uh, Autumn gets mad at me. Not really mad. But... One of the roads we drive by frequently has this fucking sign that says EDP. And I always, every time, eat that pussy? And <laughs> I'm a fucking NPC, dude. Every single time without fail, I have to say it. Uh, what bet did Misa... No, I'm just kidding. She's not actually playing Bloodborne. I just like... I I like lying about Misa Coco. It's fun. It's funny. It's really disturbing, the stuff about EDP, for sure. For sure. But, okay, hold on. We have a fucking war crime that just happened in the Discord. Someone super reacted. To my, my Discord stream announcement with the Genshin Impact little girl. Tournament was the high... It was for Yu-Gi-Oh, Birdie. I need to get that off of the screen. I actually forgot that was still there. Ay, ay, ay. What the fuck, dude? Sounds based? Hello, Ildaka. Is it... Are little girls based now? Is that where we're at in 2023? That's an IP ban right there. Now 11 people reacted with the Discord little girl. Amazing. Incredible. Some are... Super reacted? Yeah, yeah. The little Discord super reaction. I've never... You want to know something amazing? You want to know a true success story? I got the name Tolomeo on Discord without, without... I wasn't even looking for it. I don't have Nitro. I never have. And nobody took the fucking thing. I thought for sure, like... Truby was going to take Tolomeo or something. But I, I managed to actually get it, so... Sometimes good things happen to bad people, I suppose. Super premium... I'm never giving Discord a fucking dollar, dog. I'm not paying... I'm not paying them shit. Apparently Osiris tried to steal my name. That would have been really fucking funny. Super reacting flipped is beyond based? Please, I think I would cry if someone super flipped me. You know, someone took S'more and I was like, really? There's a reservation system for... Yeah, I mean, I've heard everyone's been getting their name fucking yoinked, though. So, and then someone super... Okay, who the fuck is it? Number... All right, all right. Pamiram, super... All right, so Pamiram, you're a piece of shit. Fuck you. Chovy and Third World Weeb are both better than you. Uh, you know, in the unholy trinity, you were the worst of the three. Uh, go watch Naruto or Baruto or whatever the fuck. Kiss X, sis. Go fuck yourself. Kind of surprised you got Miracle Johnson, but Yakuza 0 is a bit old by now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I need to play one of those games one day to completion. Beanie was taken on Discord. I had to be Beanie too. Discord name was a vegetable, so I was fine. Hello, Duckworth. My brain is calcifying. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm significantly dumber than I was five years ago. Do people... All right, all right. I have an honest-to-God question. No meme. For those of you who are, are starting to enter the twilight years, let's say, cut off, let's say cut off of 30. Those of you who are 30 or older, do you feel more or less mentally acute than you were at 25? Do you feel like you've sharpened over time? Or, or is your diet... Are you like me where you've consumed lots of Diet Coke and Hot Cheetos and made your brain into a slushy. I'm wiser, but significantly less intelligent. Damn. I feel more acute. Less, much dumber. Less. Okay, so it seems like there's a lot of people. It's got to be the fluoride, right? I understand things better, but I'm overall stupider. Hard to tell. I was unmedicated, so how do you compare? Yeah, I mean... About the same better at some things, worse at others. I'm always improving myself. But, you okay, you can improve yourself and, and end up, like, having... 
I don't know. Maybe you could be the world's best dementia-addled water polo player. You know, you improve in some aspects. Like I would say, that's an overall improvement, wouldn't you? More because I was a dumbass in my twenties. It changed my diet and more acute. Yeah, I've heard diet's a big factor. Maybe I need to start eating nothing but rices. I haven't been exercising my brain since leaving high school. What? what what do you mean? What do you think this stream is? It is this is like brain food, right? Uh, thank you, Adastar, for the six-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Finally, the night shift is being useful. When I worked security, they never gave me the night shift. It was the most fucked up thing in the world. I was like the only person who wanted it, and I never got it. I had to wake up at like six in the goddamn morning to go fucking jack off in Metro PCS for ten hours every day. Shit fucking blew. All the thoughts that come from my head making snippy comments once every 30 minutes. I'm not drinking like I used to, so I feel smarter. Brain has turned to mush over the past year. Are you sick? You ill? What's wrong, ghost? Was the Gollum stream that bad? Some of the games you play do kill brain cells? Sure. Sure. I... I, I felt like the... 98XX game we played on Sunday was like pesticide for my mind. I really wanted to like that game, and I think I still do, but fuck, dude. We'll find out in due time. Poop Killer 20 when I think they're on 7 now. Ghost started playing Honky Railroad. Honky Railroad. My favorite video game. My fingers are fucking killing me after my last Gunpla. Had locked-in syndrome since the 90s. You should do the, uh... Get, like, a really shitty third-party Chinese bootleg gun plug where you have to sand it all of the time just to, so you can it, you can get even more fucked fingers. They come at poop time? No, poop killer. I don't know. I don't think they ever finished poop time, too. Questioning the full night shift next month because it's really chill and I work at home. So, yeah, no, for sure. I, I'm, I'm a night person as well. I, I don't do very good in the morning. Like, you go outside and the sun's in your fucking face and everyone's, just like, out and about and being annoying and irritating everywhere. <laughs> I'm just, just a pleasant human being. Whenever I talk, it's always good, positive, uh, uplifting, wholesome things. I've always just been better at night. Feel way more awake, feel way more alive. Like, when I wake up, I feel like it's a gradual buildup. Like, I'm at my worst when I first wake up. And the longer I stay up, get more and more up there, more and more on the on the ball. And then I'm usually, by the time it's time to go to bed, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling like I've got three nuts instead of two. But then I know I have to go to bed and reset it and start it all over again the next day. Hello, Slavin. I'm going to re-render the fucking Tower Unite Vodka to Truby's fucking Beyonce music video. Fucking Truby. It's a good excuse to... Dude, none of my content is cursed. All of it is... Come on. This shit is like... They're gonna play this stuff in kindergartens one day. Because it's good. It's like a formative aid. It, it promotes brain growth. The average Tolomite has 50% more brain wrinkles than any other streamer. Except for Darkside Phil. Uh, thank you, Nooch, for the 20-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. The Chussy discussions are fairly cursed. I had nightmares. No, you didn't. You See, this is one of those things where you're in denial. You're in the denial stage. You, you had a dream that you called a nightmare, but it was really a, just a dream. Uh, and you're going to realize that it was a positive, formative experience in your life one day. Not Maybe not now, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not in a week. But you'll, you'll come around one day. There's more wrinkles because it's wetter. Harvester streams were pretty cursed. Harvester was amazing. What are you talking about? Hello, Lit Rock. I think the, if I had... I think the curse streams are... They take two primary forms. I would say last Sunday's stream was cursed because I decided to, to go low low brow and stream Shrek and SpongeBob games. I think that shit's cursed. Excuse me. I always feel like I'm being waterboarded when I play those games. Uh, thank you, Chief Berkey, for the sub. I appreciate it. Enjoy the emotes. Thank you very much. And then there are this, the ones that I specifically call torture streams, which are stuff like Pokemon Island, things like, um, I would say the tunnel, uh, the, the weed games, Fur and Hunger. Yeah, I would say that was a torture stream. Uh, Sean World. 
What the fuck? X Ross Generations was definitely a curse stream. Gollum probably qualifies. I guess they have been kind of cursed lately, huh? Fern, Hunger, Gollum, and, and the Sunday stream. I guess we're going to be doing Try Not to Have Gay Sex with Eevees. I'm tempted because apparently on the YouTube VOD channel, the creator of the Eevees game has found every single instance where I've played those games and wants to collaborate with little old me. And I'm that's that sounds tempting, but at the same time, like, what am I gonna say? Like, how did you get into like making games about lesbian K-pop stars? You know, like, I'm sure it would be fun. I'm probably gonna, you know, ask them, but I don't know what the fuck I would talk about. <laughs> I guess I could just find like all of the like. Well, so how do you feel about Piss Slut Jimin? Uh, well, you, do you think Jimin deserved it, or do you think, do you, you know, let me do a Sunday Itch stream collab with certain mods playing them? Oh, man, I don't, I would love to see Balder play Giraffe Town. That would be pretty fucking funny. God damn it, I fell off the road again. Fuck this game. That would be hilarious. Uh, I would love that. But I don't think that could ever happen. Balder, Balder, Balder has too much self-respect. Like, he, he, he. And not enough love for for the bit, you know. He he just won't cooperate, you know. He's a good dude. I, I like Balder a lot, but I don't think Balder's the kind that would would willingly subject him to me torturing him on a stream. Uh, fuck. I've asked Misa and Jenna like a hundred million fucking times each. That's a no go. I would, you know, I would non ironically. You, you, if Misa Coco bought a PS quadruple and said, Tolomeo, I will play Bloodborne if you stream it and coach me in a BL4 run, 100% I would do it. Like, if I if I got the opportunity to force Misa Coco to learn BL4, I would go back to Bloodborne. It's like the only fucking thing uh, that, would, that would result in that. Thank you, Martyr, for the one-year resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Can you to play anyone? Yeah, I know. It's a nightmare. Uh, but I, I, it's impossible to get anyone to play games with me. I feel like I've got shrooms, and we played Terraria for 10 hours last night. But aside from shrooms, it's rough. Indirectly curses through Max, the fucking giraffe game? The giraffe game's great. See, add a star. Add a star. I need you to pay attention to me. Okay, I need you to look into my eyes. Let's be parasocial for a moment, shall we? What was the name of the game with that elevator went straight to hell? I watched it and I was high. I don't remember. Oh, hell. No, no, no. You, you need to love, cherish, and appreciate Max. You need to stop calling him a dugong. You need, to, you need to show appreciation and love for your streamer. He's a good one. You know, you, people like Max don't show up very often on Twitch. You need to... You can make fun of him, but you need to you need to be nice to him every once in a while too, goddammit. You need to you need to you need to show some love to to, to our friend Max. Oh, parasocial with my personal friend Tolomeo. And dugongs are cute anyways. It's not even an insult, Adastar. I know you mean it as one, but dugongs are awesome. If I could so you wanna know something fucked in the head? Chat. If you could bring back one extinct animal, what would it be? I bet a lot of you motherfuckers are thinking your favorite dinosaur. I know Truby and Springy are thinking Majungasaurus. The dodo? No, you no, you fucking wouldn't. Shut up. No one's bringing back a dodo. No one's. No, none of you are bringing back the. You guys are really picking the dodo over fucking dinosaurs. Platypus, the Tasmanian tiger, Triceratops. Trilobites, the horse crocodile thing. I would bring back stellar sea cow, which were like fucking giant manatees. That I, I, I think on the Wikipedia article for them, they were alive within our lifetimes. We hunted them all to extinction. We killed all the motherfuckers for food because apparently they were very tasty. And they were so fucking fat that they couldn't like die. They just kind of floated on the surface like a bunch of fuckers. Uh, I would... They mated for life, and when, when one of them would get taken, the other would, like, try to try to rescue its mate from, from the human beings. And we exterminated them all. All of the stellar sea cows are dead. 
and it's our fault, and I would bring them back, and I would love and cherish them. Birthday was June 6th? Stop. June 6th? I, okay. June 6th. You have been here. I, I, hold on. We're going to fact check you right now, Ramelia. Hold up. Messages. You literally... <sighs> okay, you have messages on June 11th in my stream. And you didn't ask for a birthday song then, did you? Let me see. What the fuck, dude? Are you trolling me? Are you trolling me? I don't know. That was the Snades. I had dreams about Trilobites. At this point, I would like to see a real one. Instead of a birthday song, can you sing a song that you like for my birthday? I don't like any songs. I'm not a, I'm not a big singer. My... Oh, thank you, A.V. Anna, for the 52-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. It makes me feel terrible because uh, like a year or so ago, I asked my I asked my sister, do you think I've changed a lot in the last like five years? And she told me that I don't sing anymore. Like I don't sing random stupid songs as often. And so I need to get in touch with that part of myself. I need to start just going, car wash, working at the car wash, yeah. Car wash, working at the car wash, yeah. Practice makes perfect, as they say. Yeah, I need to sing more, I suppose. All the real St. Bernards went extinct since they all died in avalanches. The ones we see now are crossbreeds meant to replicate them. I guess they could sing, uh... I guess sing Number of the Beast. I don't think I've ever heard that one, Cannon Fang. I think the only Iron Maiden song that I even know part of the words... Uh, is, what the fuck was it called? Run for the Hills, I think. Watch your own vlogs over the last year. You sound so much more energetic and light. See, I don't really feel like that's true. Um, maybe there are some where I get soup. Like, I, I think this is sort of a misconception because I think when you go and watch some of the older vods, some of the first things you're going to watch are the good ones, the best ones, like Fear and Hunger, for example. Fear and Hunger, I bet I sounded super fucking energetic because I was having a blast and the game was super engaging. You know? When you compare, like, a random stream where I'm playing, like, I don't fucking know. Fear and... Or not fur, fur and Hunger, the furry one. Of course I'm gonna sound like I wanna die compared to, you know, the best ones. Ever since Fear and Hunger 2, you've been dead? Yeah. Uh, I feel like as you get older, you mellow and don't talk. As, I mean, that that could be true too. But I don't. I don't feel like. I, I I feel like okay. All right, all right. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pose a challenge to you. If you're one of the people who thinks Tolomeo, you're low energy, low T, soy golem. You're not as you don't love life. You're not as fucking energetic as you used to be. Watch Monster Hunter streams. No, no, Saifufu. I guarantee you. Watch the Monster Hunter streams. Literally watch them. But, and, and see if that, that charismatic Tolomeo energy is there when I'm playing Monster Hunter GU. I, I'm pretty sure it won't be. Uh, thank you, Tets, for the 63-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Watch all the MHGU streams. Like, I, I, am I that low energy? I don't feel like I'm, I'm on... I, I, I don't feel like I sound like I'm on Ambien right now. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand... I don't understand where this is coming from. Monster Hunter World streams were great, not gonna lie. Fucking, guess I might as well just quit. And just fucking pack my bags. Can you do it? Every stream like a hyper zoomer tuber who has jump cuts every second. I mean, I've actually never taken an ambient in my life. Thank you for recommending Crystal Projects as the best JRPG I played. I'm glad you like it. Remember you arguing with people about feminine... There's only so many fucking times you can argue about feminine wieners before it just becomes trite nonsense that I don't care about. You know? Like... God damn it. If Caroni wanted to... Yes, I would accept a Caroni collab. After people told me she watched and enjoyed a Serbian film, I have a begrudging respect for Caroni. Uh, I would collaborate with Caroni. Not that she would ever want to collaborate with me, but yes. Actually, streamer skyscrapers are man-made. Oh my god. Do you actually enjoy Fear and Hunger too? Yes, but there was like a lot of shit happening that had nothing to do with the game 
during the course of Fear and Hunger too. You know, all of the shit going on with their Discord or whatever the fuck. Uh, personal stuff that was happening at the time. I was having a rough run of things in December. I was... Uh, maybe maybe one day. I have a feeling in the next month or two I'll be able to tell you why I was in such a fucking funk. But for now, I can't really say shit. But, you know, I was going through some pretty dire shit in my personal life. And, and I... Imagine, you know, you're already like fucking, oh man, shit's terrible. And then your favorite, one of your favorite developers, Orange, is like, here, have Fear and Hunger early. And you get excited, like, man, this is going to be a blast. We're going to have so much fun. And you play it and it's like the Discord fucking hates you and wants you to die. <laughs> you have to go in there and try to, try to wrangle it. It's, it's, uh... And then the game crashes every 40 minutes, too. So I think, given the circumstances of everything happening at the time, it was, I enjoyed it as much as I could have. I thought the game was really good, but fuck, dude, you know, when it rains, it pours, right? Wham, wham, wham. Yes, Sardera. Saying it felt a lot more rough on stream? Well, I mean, even, even if, like, I was taking poppers and, and fucking whippets or whatever the fuck else, like, the game literally crashed every 40 minutes. I feel like even if you're really enjoying something, it is difficult to maintain enthusiasm for something that is crashing every 40 minutes. And so you have to replay. Like, I had to replay the fucking school section, the apartment section, like every section of the game. I had to do multiple times, partially because I was learning it, but mostly because the game just kept fucking crashing. You know? So, there's not much I can do about that, right? Did see? Yeah, I, I didn't really feel like it was low energy either, but I guess it was. Uh, circles are almost always Nazis. There, I said it. Well, I'll, I'll take your word for it, but I don't, I don't endorse the statement. CBT plus crash, and you didn't go insane? Yeah, you know. Whatevs. All right, well, shit. I guess I should just go to bed then. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Just uh, play reruns of the first Fear and Hunger streams. Just fucking whip that shit on and just go fucking jack it or something. Good night, Tolo. Good night, Deb. The aliens? I, I am curious about aliens because, like, I feel as if there aren't that many games made about aliens compared to what you would expect. Million games about zombies. Million games about, like, fucking Wendingos or whatever the hell. But I really feel like aliens aren't touched on as much as you would think. And when they are, it's like, it's not the typical kind of, like, Roswell alien. Like, it's like, oh, they're, they're like, regular women, but with huge tits and blue. Let's fuck them. Mass Effect. You know? So, there's the alien. That's true. That's true. The alien in the attic one was interesting, I guess. I saw a uh, post claiming that we were going to get news on flying saucers in, in the coming weeks. The U.S. government is finally going to admit that they've had an alien craft that they've been working on. So, I'm sure that will manifest. Getting over it, Vod, a few days ago, you seemed a bit different. I mean, you know, well, what can I say? You just, it's, it's probably because, uh, you know. Ever going to go back to the 98XX game? I don't know, dude. Part of me is tempted, but it's like... I think I enjoy those types of games less when they're not self-contained. So, like... The, the fact that I have to scrounge through, like, Five Nights at Freddy's Nut, Nutcracker Edition and... What is the other fucking one called? Oh, God. Uh, thank you, Scully Sully, for the 44-month resub and Grismore for the 22-month hostile aliens that are more Lovecraftian. I Unknown and Spoopy are really rare. Yeah. Major Mask? Yeah, the Majora's Mask one. Well, I cannot... Brigadoon, thank you. Thank you. I don't know. I, w I, I, like, I like the ones that are more self-contained. When I see that you have to have like Morse code and hexadecimal and search through three different games, 
I feel like a lot of it's going to be more outside of the the actual game, and I don't I I don't find that as compelling. I'm too stupid, I guess. I thank you, Ghost Host, the twelfth the forty five month resub. I appreciate it. One of the games being a full length indie game release. Really yeah, like I don't really want to play through RPG Maker Majora's Mask in hopes that I'll find something, you know. And given the fact that a lot of the stuff, a lot of the hints are. You know, things like the Morse code. Who's to say it's not like running a random song in the game through a spectrogram or something? Asinine like that as opposed to playing the game. I just, I don't know. It's not really my wheelhouse. It's really cool as a concept. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to make progress in something like that. The author's still going to update 98XX so you don't even know if you finished or not. That's true. Is it constructed poorly? I don't I don't know if I would agree with that. I just think it's one of those things that didn't strike my particular interest. They don't know our gravity silly chump comp. There should be a tag called worm like. Literally no one in gaming will know what the fuck a worm like is. That's specifically something confined to this chat. ARGs have been the bane of cohesive horror narratives. I like I like ARGs, but yeah, it's it's rough to do sometimes. Um, I just feel like with ARGs as well, it's not really structured to be something you you just figure out on your own. It's something that you're is is typically meant to be cryptic to the point of requiring a community effort. Um, I don't know. Maybe may, we we've got some really smart motherfuckers in here, but then at the same time we've got like I don't know oak tree. <laughs> so it, it, you know it's a shit shoot whether or not we're we're gonna we're gonna have the manpower right not a big fan of games requiring outside programs or materials goodbye sardera what's wrong with oak tree nothing i'm just being a bully but having it as a game you're meant to play can get dicey am i a smarty i don't know i don't know enough about you maybe uh are you a farty? I hope not. I hope no one in here is a little, little poop fetishist because that'd be really fucking weird. Having this a game you're meant to play. Oh, I, I already read that. All right, so I guess we can get started on the fucking alien video game. I think we can just uh, get into this bullshit. At least one person probably is. Statistically, it's likely. One of my least favorite games to play as a streamer is occasionally someone will follow you on Twitter. And you click on their profile and you get some insane results sometimes. Like some of the shit. Like, oh my god, dude. I've seen some things, man. <laughs> so if you got yeah, weird shit on your Twitter, please don't follow me, dude. Because I'll be like, oh, what the fuck is this guy's PFP? I just click on it. Oh my god. What the fuck? I didn't know the human body was capable of such things. And it's just like, oh, fuck. Crypto scam account magnet on Instagram. Time I, I see the same type of OnlyFans fans ads on people's Twitter. I've seen some weird shit. Uh, remember, that's how I found out about the the person who was like a a Samoyed VTuber who made not safe for work Samoyed fan art. Like like drew porn of of Samoyeds and they followed my stream and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna block this person because like I feel like. I, I took one look at their Twitter bio, and I was like, there's no way they like the streams. Like, it's impossible. I am not going to be banning someone who enjoys Tolomeo stream content. It is literally an impossibility. They want pictures of my dog. So I it just blocked them, dude. It's the only... Well, at the time, it was the only person I had blocked on Twitter. So, yeah, I don't know, man. It just rubbed me the wrong way. I didn't like it. Stories why I didn't try doing anything Sif related. Yeah, I, I, it's speculation. For all I know, maybe they just really liked my dog and they didn't plan on doing anything weird. But it just, I didn't like it. Uh, I I got some weird vibes from that. So creepy as hell. Do you, do you think I'm overreacting, chat? Do you think that was warranted, or do you think I'm being I'm being a uh, being a uh, dramatic? All right, so we've got the Gray Hill incident here, everybody. Did a vibe check and the vibe was off. Warranted, who knows? Always trust your gut. I, I have a pretty good track record with my gut. Um, There are not a lot of things or people that I trust, but my intuition is something I, 
I have found has rarely led me astray. I'm definitely a big fan of going going for the gut feeling. There have been times where that has fucked me over, but there have been way more times where I was like, "Wow, I really should have listened to myself when I when I yeah, when I had those thoughts. Like, why the fuck did I deny deny how I was feeling and my instincts?" <coughs> Excuse me. Ah. Oh. Didn't the Sith on Russ's space station 13 server end up getting used by the furry ERP? I have no idea. Maybe. I haven't heard of this. I need to become a gym rat so I can tone my gut and stop jiggling. You know, a lot of people like to jiggle. It's weird. One of the worst mistakes I ever made was posting my stomach on an Animal Crossing stream. I was like, look. Look at this fat fucking stummy. And uh, the consequences of that were not great. Okay, so, I've heard this game is absolutely, astonishingly fucking dog shit. But I disagree because I see a cow back there. That cow's pretty cool. Oh, you want to hear something fucking insane? Alright, you w Hello, Becky Gunarecki. I was making popcorn chicken in the air fryer last night, and I guess at some point my, my wedding ring slipped off and i air fried my wedding ring last night so that's where i've been at this week <laughs> i literally air fried my fucking wedding ring so you know when people ask why i don't cook things you know was it tasty it's really funny it is really funny but it's like holy shit i didn't even notice that it slipped off Bitch, how? I don't know, dude. Don't cook with jewelry on. These fucking Americans fry everything. No wonder they're so fat. Didn't warp. I don't know. I haven't I haven't really seen it. I put it down and let it cool off. I need to check it. You're married? You, literally everyone on Twitch is married. What do you mean? Did you chip your tooth on it? No, I've never chipped a tooth as far as I'm aware. Your air fryer was baptized. You're actually divorced now. Fuck. Imagine, yeah, this is like the retirement home on Twitch for married people. I think popcorn chicken ha hair fried my wedding ring are the most American things I've ever heard. Yeah, well. What can I say? Thank you, Red, with two Ds for the five-month resub. Appreciate it. How did you find out you air fried it? Because I took my chicken out, poured it on the plate, and my ring made a clank on the plate. <laughs> That's how I figured out that I air fried it. Like, oh, shit. Oops. My brother cut off his thumb while cooking and didn't notice. Wow. That's fucking insane. Maybe it was tasty. Hello, Nacho Man. Well, the married couples... Cut. Yeah, yeah, this is like... Yeah, you know, this is the retirement home. My wedding ring is red hot. Kyle, you, rat, you weren't using the red air fryer to make me popcorn chicken. You were heating up my wedding ring to give me the old spicy ring. I know exactly the fucking picture you're talking about. I think. And I don't know if I've ever seen someone re like mention that bullshit. Those weird ass fucking memes. On the internet ever. Fuck, dude. God. Wow. Jesus Christ, I didn't know what the fuck you were talking about for a moment, and then I realized. Christ almighty. What? Hold on, let me see if I can find it. I wish I read- There was another one where, like, these are not happy times, dog, these are dark times, and he's, like, throwing ninja stars at the dog or some shit. Uh, it's weird. Oh, fuck, man. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find these. I used to have them saved my, to my computer. Now, I, I literally sound like a schizophrenic right now. Is it the one with the piss flower? Okay, I found the keychain one. Hold up, hold up. Let me save this shit. I guess, I, I guess this is like an adult swim thing. Um, this is what the, they're referring to. 
Ugh, my keys are red hot. Dominic, you rat, you weren't using the oven to bake cookies. You were heating my keys up to give me the old spicy keychain. How could you give your own brother the spicy keychain, Dominic? This is some ancient bullshit, dude. I, I cannot believe someone just referenced this in my chat. But it makes sense the portable jerk-offs would be the person who did. Uh, thank you, Papa Fubi, for the 62-month resub. I appreciate it. Humor was better back then? I mean, I think so, too. But maybe we're just old. Is it possible to get t dog pan on the water? I think so. Uh, you should be able to. If you can't, just let me know. People make great edits on that over the times. Hello, Keanu the Pastry. Concerned by this? Well, that's why I wanted to do the fucking meme stream with Max. Is like, I bet the Italians have not seen a lot of the really dumb shit over here. And maybe they'd like it. And maybe it's the same. Maybe there's some really funny Italian memes that we need to know about. We're old and correct. Ugh. Yeah, I think so, too. I think so. Hostile ape likes near Schadenfreude. What a nightmare. Yeah, I mean, we've all made that face at someone before. Whether you're willing to admit it or not, there have always been instances where every human being makes this face at someone else's misfortune. Zoomer humor is blood. Well, dude, you know what? If I posted this in, like, a Fortnite stream and said this was funny, they would call me cringe, they would call me a boomer, they'd say they hope I die a boomer remover, get COVID-19, rip bozo, uh, take this L ratio. So, you know, it's just, it's different groups of people, right? They would slur, I don't know if they would, I feel like Zoomers are, Zoomers are significantly more sensitive with that kind of shit, and I'm not saying that is a bad thing, like, they're more cognizant of not saying terrible words on the internet than we were when we were kids. Air fried his ring? I did. I did. I air fried both of them, actually. Which, you know, it happens, right? It's an understandable mistake. Is it okay? Yeah, I think so. How? I, it just slipped off, I guess. I don't know. The popcorn chicken, you know, it, it, it was lonely. Should do a Fortnite stream? No, I don't think I will. I think that that would be absolutely outstandingly miserable. Remember how people made the letter E a meme? Well, to be fair, my generation made the letter N a meme, so I can't really fault them for that. I think their version's better than ours. All right, I'm heading home now. See you soon. F, F as well, yeah. How'd the wife react to air fry? Well, she just saw, she was like, you air fried your ring? In my Twitch chat. I didn't I didn't tell her. Fortnite streamer, you and Otter make a cool blanket for it? That sounds lame. My computer died today. I'm sorry, that sounds fucking awful. Immediate divorce the popcorn chickens now legally Otter's husband. Metal will cool. Just let it cool off for like ten minutes. Well I hold on. I guess I should go fucking see. It's gonna be for the Gundam talk. Watch a game. Dude, a game has literally never kicked my ass. Like, I have sodomized every game I've ever played, without exception. Not a single one has bested me. Um, we're not gonna talk about Gollum. We're not gonna talk about getting over it. Uh, you know? Popcorn chicken sounds good. It does, but there's not enough in the bag for a full meal, so I gotta... I don't know. I'm out. Sussy? That will change today? Yeah, yeah. My chihuahua's going gorilla mode in the background. Apologies for that. What happened with Gollum? I, I stopped playing it because it was dog shit. What about Bob Horror Game or whatever it was called? Bob Horror Game. Is it a good Tolo game? To Jesus, I don't know what he's barking. He must see a cat or something. He does not like cats. I crave pizza, so Little Caesar's still up, and I'm going to get pizza and crazy bread. You can ask him. Okay. Fear and hunger sodomize you first. Oh, but that's... No, that literally doesn't... That's... It's designed to be that way. Like, if you go into fear and hunger and you win the first time, you're literally cheating. Like, I know I sound like that heartless Ketsuki loser, but it's designed to be trial and error. You're supposed to get fucked up over and over. You're not supposed to know, like, the way to do everything. That's part of the fun. <laughs> like, that's literally the gameplay loop is getting owned and then owning it. You know, it, 
Still counts, not getting off on it. It's literally not, though. Like, to me, getting owned by a video game would be playing Fear and Hunger, getting filtered by the guard, and then never playing it again. That is a true and honest ownage. That is getting... Like, if you come back and beat the game on hard mode with one character and beat Grogoroff before the hard mode endings are even implemented in the game, solo, I don't... You can't fuck a game that hard. Like, it's... It, it's or harder than that. I thank you, King Akira, for the 26-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's just like what they used to say about Dark Souls. Uh, you only really lose if you quit. Doesn't matter if you die 100 times to Ornstein and Smo. If you win, you won. You beat it, you know? BF doesn't love the CBT games. I recommend him, but being hard is the fun part. I lost... And that's okay. Not everybody gives a shit about that. And that's okay, too. Not everyone gives a fuck about winning or losing at a goddamn video game. Which is, honestly, the people who can just say, you know what? This is fucking stupid. I have better things to do. Are probably smarter than the fucking dumb fucks like us. Who bang our head into the wall over and over. Elden Ring bent you over? Did it? I feel like... I feel like beating Melania Blind level 1 in like 2 or 3 hours is, uh... I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that was pretty... Pretty good. I think Termina's easier to get into. Termina's easier to get into because you can recruit characters. But I think I got fucked hard on Termina at the beginning. Just like Fear and Hunger 1. Because I didn't... I, I don't know. It's weird. Like, your your experience can vary dramatically. Because... You can fucking uh, stumble into getting the engineer lady at the beginning as your first party member. And then it's a hundred times easier if you get her. Um, or you could be a dumb asshole like me and have like your single character in the cathedral with no party members. You know, getting fucked by everything. So, forcibly restarting a lot. Well, I explained it. So... This is, this is something that dumb people don't understand. I'm not saying my chat is this. This is, this is specifically directed at a different group of people. When you go into that kind of game, I like to just try a bunch of stuff. That My goal is not necessarily to win. It's to make progress and find out and discover as much shit as I can. Whether I die or make progress... Uh, like in the story, I suppose, isn't really my goal. You know, you're just trying to fucking figure things out, figure out what works against specific types of enemies. Say, hey, uh, I'm going to go die to this enemy five times to learn the best strat. I'm going to do this. I don't care if I die. You know, that I feel like that's, that's the most fun way to play those games for me. You know, you're supposed to be... I, I feel like if you want to enjoy a game like that, Winning is not beating the game necessarily. I know that sounds fucking stupid, but going in and getting owned by a boss isn't necessarily a defeat. Going in and learning more so the next run can be better and making incremental uh, strides in knowledge to just be able to completely dick the game down is the point of that kind of game. Um, you know, you watch like watch the first Fear and Hunger playthrough I did versus like the fucking seventh, and it's just like night and day, right? Take a playthrough as much as finding everything to beat the game since you knew how fear and hunky work. I mean, I think uh, a lot of people would just say that I'm I'm a bad cunt cheating loser, but yeah. Wish there were some better save mechanics for games like that. I feel like with fear and hunger, you could just make it to where whenever you die, or I don't know. I I, I feel like there have been mechanics made to avoid save scumming. Uh, like, you die and it just deletes your save, but you can save. Thank you, ABC at Spiral, for the 33-month resub. I appreciate it. But at the same time, that kind of thing... I, I imagine it... I, I've heard that Fear and Hunger 2 is, like, a fucking behemoth of, like, a million different RPG maker functions and plugins. And you can only push it so far. Like, you can only push RPG maker so far... So, trying to fucking add more shit like that could be a pain in the ass. Playing on permanent, the second your character is zero, your health, your save is deleted. 
This give you a memory leak eventually. I agree, Jack Jack. But the problem is when you have these hard modes where you have no fucking saves, basically. You're supposed to beat the entire thing with like one or two saves, but the game crashes every 40 minutes. And it's a four or five hour run. That's the thing that fucks with me. Guys, can you hear What's me? going on, Cherno? My husband said he spotted someone or something next to our Have you played now. this? I know this sounds weird. Did you beat the Doom one? Hot steamy pile? Oh, good. Yes to both? Awesome. I don't trust the cops or the government, or anyone else for that matter. I'm with Brandon on this one. We created our neighborhood watch for this exact reason. Brandon, I understand the situation, but this needs to stop. It's also absolutely irresponsible Cherno, to send Brian out. You should play a game called First Land. Baby, don't tell the <laughs> I think you'd really like it, dude. First what? First Land. It's just called First Land. It's an itch indie game. Is it ethical to recommend that game to people? Probably not. Play Northern Journey? You should also play it till I'm gonna scream. Sissy Hypnosis. There's a game dev idea. You have to make shitty little tinfoil hats to avoid being sissy hypnotized. I disagree. I think I'd all rather right. find the I'll cat personally. The I'll tell them to board up all their stuff. The fact is, our government is hiding. I'm curious how bad this is going to be. Like this just don't happen here in Gray Hill. I don't think I've seen anyone say anything nice about this game so far. What the fuck is this first land? I don't know how to explain it, dude. Uh it's not ironically my game of the year, but I don't. I think there are gonna be like two other people in the world who like it other than me. It's like the most cryptic nightmare puzzle hell game ever, but it's really fun. It's like Outer Wilds. Going, no, I actually like if you play it, play it off stream. Like it's. I I wouldn't say it's necessarily a great stream experience, but if you like, I know you're friends with Blinda, and I know he likes the schizo games. It is definitively a schizo game. I bought this book back in the 80s. My brother Bob experienced something similar during his childhood. What gave the first land? I don't want to explain anymore just in case he wants to play it. But it's, uh... <laughs> I hear the noise. Yeah, dude, literally. Ooh. Down, down. Oh, man. Tolo's Prize being one of the three worm guys? My pride is having a really cool wife and, and four epic dogs. I don't get my pride from video games. And my pride is also... In thinking that I'm a good streamer and then starting the stream and everyone saying I'm zero energy and my old, I was way better back in like the fucking Monster Hunter days. Gives me a boner. He looks like an alien. Being stolen at first. It's really good. But it's also like. I, I liked First Land because it's super cryptic and there's like no fucking documentation on it whatsoever on the internet. Like there were not, maybe, maybe, I don't know, you could look up my playthrough now if you really wanted to. 
I'm not saying you would do that, but you li- we literally had to just figure it out. And there's no like, uh, there's no way to just uh, cheat your way to the end. This game is satire, then it's a masterpiece. I, s- I need to pay a little bit more attention to this game. Max is barking. Been seeing fear and hunger everywhere after you played it? Well, I played it like fucking three, four years ago. At the- Literally, dude, that's crazy. I-, I played fear and hunger one four years ago now. That's fucking ridiculous. Hey, puppy. This is me every single fucking day. And a video of it in the comments, but it's only 40 minutes? No. Like I said, I don't want to tell you more. Like, if you're actually interested in it, you should just play it and see. Maybe you like it, maybe you won't. I don't think there's anything quite like it, though. I can't just use my fists? Probably bet. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's like Outer Wilds in that regard, right? The more I tell you, the more of a disservice I'm doing. Okay, so I heard one of the complaints about this game is that, like, shit's really annoying and hard to find. I don't know if that's this part. I'm pretty sure it isn't. Here, can I use this? Well, what the fuck? Okay. Um. When do you anally probe the aliens? Let's look around, I guess. I can't fucking see a goddamn thing out here, so I doubt it's here. It's probably over this way, because there's a light. Usually, if you're a good game developer, if you're following the epic game developer rules, use lights and shit. Yes, there's a crowbar here, but how do I... What, why is there a crowbar here? Okay. I probably should have read that, but I have the crowbar now. Wait. There we go. Okay. But there's nothing. Doesn't it, it? It didn't seem like there was a there was an indicator that you could pick it up, which I was looking for. What? What is a rabbit jar? Jar for rabbits. Uh oh, our dog's gonna get abducted. Is he in the cornfield? Where the fuck's my dog? Max, stay here. Max. You have to spam F to charge your flashlight? Max. That. What? Losing my religion, is that the one KF1 map? Dude, fucking Killing Floor 1 farm was was peak map design. Alright, alright. Over Sun. I saw that error in the subtitles. You're, I'm, I'm gonna take two points off of the total score because of that typo. All right, maybe maybe this is just me being a, a nitpick fuck, but I've never understood how you could have like a typo like that five minutes into the video game. You know, like this game or others. It's not native English. Okay, I guess that's fine, but. No proofreading? I, I guess so, but I feel like... I don't know. Whenever... One second. Goodbye, Autistic Fish Sticks the first.
What the fuck? That is not a weather balloon. They're lying. The government is lying and they're trying to hide it from us. We're gonna traumatize this child. Screaming about the fucking aliens all night. I hate neighborhood holes too. I feel it. This is like total talking to the chat. The child, my chat isn't children though. Game sounds are incredibly quiet. Okay, let me turn it up. My bad, my bad. I'm being very unprofessional right now. I'm trying to get people to play like fucking first land when I'm supposed to be invested in the alien game. Joel knows something about being a neighborhood hole. Holy fuck, Truby. Jesus Christ. Nothing wrong with a nice neighborhood hole. I didn't even make, like, a sexual, like, like the link there. I wasn't thinking, like, a... Wow, Jesus Christ. You guys immediately go to the town bicycle shit, huh? I was thinking, like, a pothole. Like, you fucking hit the goddamn thing and it fucks your, your axles up. The incident where the hill is gray. Hello, B. You guys are sick puppies. Starfield gameplay? No. I actually, this is one of the dumbest things I don't do. I don't believe in trailers for any game, whether I'm looking forward to it or not. I'll watch them if we're watching like E3 or something, but if I'm on my own, I never look at them. Ever. Hello, Satu. Uh, thank you for the raid. The reason behind that is either it's, it's going to be one of two things. It's going to be cinematic garbage I could not care less about, or it could be something actually compelling that I don't want to see because I'd rather I'd rather see it in the video game. You know? Like, from soft games especially. I don't want to watch the trailers. I don't want to see bosses. I don't want to see enemies. I don't want to see, you know, what the areas look like. I want to go in as blind as possible. So, like, I haven't seen anything for Armored Core. At all. I, I'm thinking I might play it because I liked Armored Core 4 and 4A. Never played 5. I want to play Starfield as well, but I haven't seen anything for either of them. Because I just, I don't, I don't know, dude. Look up everything announced in X articles that release after. I think I saw Everhood 2 was announced, though. Unless that was a dream. Maybe I had a fucking nightmare or a dream where I watched a game show. Everhood 2. That sounds like it's up my alley. I fucking love the first one, so. A little movie cube. Everhood 2? Yeah, yeah. That game was awesome. So I'm definitely down to play another one. Couldn't care less about Starfield. I don't know. The only reservation I have with Starfield is if it's really fucking god-awful, I'm going to lose all faith for Elder Scrolls 6, right? Hello, Dan PMK. Where the fuck is this walkie-talkie? Am I on drugs? The game told me to do something and I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Hand crank flashlight. Brandon brought several of these. Flashlights from Vietnam. We're using them because the others have problems at night. I think they work because the crank function. However, the dynamo doesn't work. Okay, we, we started in here. I don't need... Here it is. Communicating via walkie-talkie. Okay, so the entire neighborhood communicates via walkie-talkie. Got I'm it. Here. Ryan, something is wrong with Joe Parson, the farmer, you know? Okay. He called me a few minutes ago. He was very afraid. Then the radio connection became broken off by something. He is working on the field near your house. You must check immediately okay, what so happened Okay, that's where the dog was barking, right? Okay, I'll go check on him. By the way, someone was in Henry's room. They escaped out the window. I almost caught them in our shed, but there was a strange blue light. I'm sure Pull yourself here. together. Have you seen the TV news? No one will help us. We're all boarding up our windows currently. Wow. I know how to shoot because of the Vietnam War, and you can handle the baseball bat. What the fuck is this dialogue, dude? I know how to shoot because of the Vietnam War. Don't forget how I shot your son's hat off while wearing it when I was drunk at the barbecue last uh, summer. Brandon, Imagine how you I can still have to pay for that. Sober. What the fuck? Tomorrow. Sounds like a good idea. I'll keep you updated. Over and out. Wow. 
Jesus Christ. What is this dialogue? It's really good. I like it. AI is far more coherent than this. Imagine how I handle the gun when I'm sober. I, that sounds like something I would say. Is Chatty in an emergency? I don't like how they keep interrupting each other. Very rude and inconsiderate. Well, you can't expect much from people who are communicating via walkie-talkie in the fucking boonies, right? Now, why didn't the voice actor say, Hey, uh, you know this shit doesn't make sense grammatically? I don't know. Like, I guess nobody played it and pointed it out. But I, you know what? We can't judge it because you know what else had a fuck ton of typos? Fear and Hunger 1 had a ton of mistakes. Uh, like an actual ton of, of fuck-ups in the dialogue. And that game was awesome. So... Maybe this is going to be more of the same. Maybe this is going to be Fear and Hunger. Maybe this is going to be the game that's so good that everyone, like five years from now, people will say, man, I missed back in 2023. When you played the, the, the fucking stupid ass alien game. That was the best shit ever, dude. You sounded like you loved life, that you were full of happiness and cum. And I just. What happened, man? You're calling penis a stingers? The game's the next big thing. Alright, I guess we're going out the front door then. Oh, hey. I'm glad they have their toilet paper the right way. This wasn't the same after he stopped. Kingdom Hearts 3? Dude, fuck Kingdom Hearts. That's like... I gotta say, after, after playing it, out of all of the games that people are like and are popular, the one I understand the least people's fixation with is Kingdom Hearts. That I've played. Just don't fucking get it. Vibrator's turning on? Yeah, we're late to the chess tournament. And it, it, here's the thing, too, alright? This is the weirdest shit about Kingdom Hearts. If you talk to someone who, who likes those games, they'll always be like, man, it would be so much better if they didn't have, like, Donald and Goofy in there. Like, no! No! Dude, like, that's the best part. Turtle Goofy is literally the best part of Kingdom Hearts 2. Objectively. Gorsh, King Triton. That's a big Triton you got there. That shit is literally the, the most compelling thing about those games. It's how stupid it is. Like, Mickey Mouse in the Columbine trench coat. Cash. Money. Shit's awesome. These are some nice cows. What? Dude, have you not seen that? That's literally what it is. Somebody save the door of darkness. Uh-oh. The UE4 Greyhill incident game has crashed and will close. Oh, no. Okay, I guess that's probably not where I was meant to go. Uh-oh. I'm the open task manager. This is a pretty big freeze. All right. Well, I thank you, nepotism, for the 14 months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Goofy occasionally. Yeah, Goofy's great. Like, they need to add more Disney shit to Kingdom Hearts. Just fully lean into it. Seeing Pete standing beside the anime himbos of Organization 13 is a trip. Yet another game less stable than Fur and Hunger. That's just going to be the benchmark for all indie games now, is Furry, Fear, and Hunger. Now that Fear and Hunger is popular, I don't have my special little treasure that nobody knows about. But I have Fur and Hunger still, at least. They might have they might have found my diamond, but I still have the the fossilized dog turd full of corn kernels. So. Oh. For real? For real? That's what I was supposed to... Stream frozen, is it? It looks fine on my end. It did not physical. Alright. Can we be friends with the cows? Hey, Moo Moo. Moo Moo. 
Makes, I'm glad that the right. dev is going to is be getting hella right? dollars. I don't think so. The dev definitely deserves more recognition. Damn it. Would you guys have a friendly pet cow? Nobody better say they turn him into a burger or eat him. He would have to be your friend for life. Okay, we got an unknown object here. Can't seem to pick it up. I can only... Can I go up here? That was too big. Poops too much. Well, let's just say you had all of the space and everything taken care of. I pee beef. If the cow's my friend, I'd feel guilty. Well, okay, look at it this way, right? Well, never mind. As a friend, I'm gonna euthanize them at a healthy age and eat them. Fuck yeah, dude. Wait, I got an achievement called Coward for this. Oh, I guess the tractor is the hiding space. Uh-oh. I'm not a coward. I'm brave. Oh, these guys sure are fucked up. Poor cows. It's a waste of meat. What if aliens, like, lived inside of the cow corpses? Kind of like Star Wars. Where the fuck am I going? See, I'm not sure if this game is... Like, I'm just being a dummy and it's immediately apparent what I'm supposed to be doing at every moment. But I'm just kind of treating it like a Raphael game where I wander around and shit will happen. Figure it out, you know? Wouldn't know because they'd be hiding. Primes or just aliens trying to pilot brains. That would be. That would be really shittily designed because primes are invariably fatal and they don't really en enhance the abilities of their their hosts. I'm totally, you're so nice to this game. Well, just you know. Maybe it's not that bad. I, I I don't know. Whenever I see someone say, like, universally this game is dog shit, I, I kind of... You know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe people are just being extreme. Maybe people just, like... Like, one big streamer said this game's dumb and they ran with it. I don't know. Try and scare the shit out of me. Not saying that's the case with this necessarily, but I'll give it a chance. The RV from Breaking Bad? Like Gollum? No, Gollum was dog shit. People were 100% right about Gollum. But you never know. Like, I. Because I play a lot of games. Okay, look at it this way, right? When I played Fear and Hunger, a lot of people were like, wow, this is. You play this shitty RPG Maker game? What the fuck is this? A lot of really good indie games I played have, have gotten that kind of response. So, you know. Gotta can't always go by what people are saying. You gotta at least give it a shot. Right? I thought a prion was that thing where your dick gets filled with blood. No, that's a priapism. A prion is a misfolded protein that encourages otherwise healthy proteins to misfold in the same way. It manifests in Kreutzfeld, uh, Jacob's disease, mad cow disease, uh, fatal familial insomnia are all prion diseases. They... Fuck your brain up. They're 100. They're all 100% invariably fatal. You will die if you get a prion, no matter what. It's it's interesting. A priapism is a boner that lasts for more than six hours. I think one of the things, one of my favorite examples of something that can give you a priapism is there is a spider called the banana spider, also known as the Brazilian wandering spider, that sometimes makes its way to uh, other places such as America, like hiding in bunches of bananas. And 
if they bite you, you can get a priapism. And that a priapism, the, the conventional way of dealing with that, is to take a huge old needle, stick it in your cock, and drain the, the excess blood out. It's not, no, fatal familial insomnia. It's regular insomnia, is it, but fatal familial insomnia is a prion disease. It's entirely different. That we'll just, you get less and less sleep, and you just die from having all of your fucking protein zoned. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do right now. Past thing, I've, I've grabbed it like a hundred times. I, I can't pick it up as far as I'm aware. Let me try it again. Maybe I wasn't pressing the right button. Because it's like the first thing I saw when I came out here. Unknown object. What is that? See, like, if I left-click, nothing. If I right-click, it closes it. So I have to find something else before I can do whatever it is I need to do with that. You know, I'll find a miracle. Part of the, the appeal of these streams is like watching a fucking dementia patient try to find, like, the napkins. I'll figure it out eventually. Dude in the UK got bit by one of those spiders that took a trip into the bit. Yeah, yeah, they're cool. I want to I want to experience a priapism one day. I feel like it's just It's like the thing we were talking about with broken bones. Like I feel like it's just something you got to go through at some point or another. Don't you get frustrated, dog? I have played some really fucked up games. Priapism pit at Tolocon. Yeah, we need to get a bunch of the Brazilian wandering spiders and just Okay, maybe there was something in here. Brandon, Brandon, this is Joe. They're trying to break into my tractor. I hope this message gets to you. Walkie-talkie connection broke. They're small and gray. Oh my god. Can't believe Joe's frickin' dead. Yeah, yeah, I see that now. I, I thought it... Alright, yeah, I just need to be a little bit more observant. Just kind of out of it, dude. Like, I, I was... I don't know, like, you know, way, 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 poor pitiful me. But I was, I was fucking having such a hard time falling asleep today. I have not slept well in, like, a week. So, I guess this is not what I'm supposed to do. We have, uh... Our, our, our fucking... Dude, so, I got jump scared today. So our neighbor died yesterday. Uh, one of our neighbors, she's only like 50. Uh, she, she died of liver failure. And I guess we're, I didn't know that this was something we were gonna be doing, but I go downstairs and there's this huge fucking Great Dane in our house, it's not Daisy. Big fucking, you know, black Great Dane. Got like old, got this the, the stuff. I guess we're watching one of the dogs for the time being. And little men, our chihuahua kid. has just been fucking. Wow, 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 wow! I finally figured out. Looks like Kitty. What he was barking at when I woke up. I should bring her to his caravan. Her name is Layla. She's very sweet, very sweet and old. This cat's fucked up. Let's go on JFC. <laughs> I'm surprised the cat's so nonchalant about being manhandled like this. Dude. Ugh. All right. Okay, you know what? First criticism. First criticism. I fucking hate, like, this, this shit where it's like these... There's magically an opening here now that I found the arbitrary trigger. Like, you have to find the Joe's little message, and the cat mysteriously appears. When you're holding the cat, he's Moses, I guess, but instead of the sea, he parts, like, shitty little fences. I don't know. Oh, she, no, no, oh, oh, sorry. Uh, Layla is the dog of the pers the deceased person's daughter. Well, it, she figures everything out. I guess we're watching Layla. This is the dog hotel at this point. Nobody ever asks me either. Like, it's just I wake up and there's more dogs in the house. I'm like, who the fuck are you, dude? Like, what the fuck are you doing here? 
Le- legitimately scared the shit out of me to see a, like a Great Dane just chilling in my fucking living room. Otter's a menace? No, it's not Otter. This time. Tolo's the beta day? No, Daisy. Daisy listens to one person. You know who that person is? Me. Autumn is way too nice to Daisy. And that's not a bad thing. But Daisy, Daisy, they all know that she's the sucker. That she's got the heart of gold. That she's the kindest person and they can, they can manipulate her. They know that I'm an asshole. <laughs> so they, they, uh... They tend to listen to me a little more. I'm the bad cop. Do you want this cat? Straight up dog spawn point? Literally, yeah. The dog spawn point. Why is this one flickering now? Okay, I guess I could just... Chat, okay. Did it, did it mention where I'm supposed to take the cat? Or is it... Yes? Okay. Where where did they mention? Because I wasn't... The RV? Alright, so I do have to get in the RV. My bad. I really need to... I, I'm, like, having such a hard time focusing on this. I'm really sorry. Uh, I can't mess with this still, right? Alright, I need to stop talking about this shit and just focus on the, the game of the year. Dementia mode 2. Maybe I've got a prion disease. Take the cat, put it up your butt and around the corner. I don't... My butt is not very big. Like, it's, it's small. I don't think it could fit anything. It's a virgin hole. It's the same energy as that one wolf simulator game. I've never played that, but my sister did. I mean, for total contest, we can only get prion diseases from the ball pit. Okay, so we need to we need to get into this fucker's RV. I like the tin foil on the on the windows, but only some of them. I wonder what the what the reasoning behind that is. Okay, so all right, ladders you can just it's not. Wait. Huh. Okay. Anus was specifically designed to keep animals out. The only thing everyone, I mean, everyone gets at Tolokan is, no, no, pre no pregnancy at Tolomiokan. That ain't us. What is this? I thought that said sus water. I was about to be pissed. What's going on, Rick James? Fuck, dude. I thought for sure it was sus water. I've been corrupted so profoundly by the internet. Memes are the prions of humor. Can I boil the cat? Brian! I thought that was you on my roof. Holy shit. <gasps> Is this kitty? My cat? Are you alright? I caught her out in the field near the tractor. Oh, what does she have on her Thank you, Potter Man, for the 72 months. I, I can know. and I will. It makes a strange noise. It sounds like electricity or something. Oh, and Bob. I had a strange encounter in my backyard. There was a very cute hat. Weird electricity. I'll tell you about it later. Let's look at the cat first. The table. I'll take a closer look. One sec. Gonna tab out real quick. Um, I need to turn the game volume up on my end. Ugh. I need to get immersed, dude. I'm gonna turn the AC off. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be humid. It's probably hot and humid in, in, in this alien world as well. Why not mention the skin cows? It's just normal. Mm, it looks like an infant. There's some kind of probe. Ryan, I think they abducted Kitty. They had experience. Wait, what is this guy's hair? By the way, have you boarded up your house? It's really dangerous and gray out these days. Bitch, your hair is luscious. Not God yet. damn. You should do it immediately. You need to wear a tinfoil hat. Your son Henry too. They go into your brains. 
my telepathy. Also, don't forget, don't ever tell anyone. Mo, well, that is not a mole. As Brandon said before, the government knows it. Now, take this preparation for your walkie-talkie. The tinfoil's on the kitchen desk. I like, what is tinfoil upgrade? Aliens can't intercept our walkie-talkie when using it. It looked like a tinfoil doobie to me for a moment. Bob Baker tells a story about his abduction. Describes how to have a happy life despite being pro. What the hell is this? No, 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 Something very bad is happening. That's how you stand when something very bad is happening. Damn, but look at the cow. That's a sick fucking cow right there if I've ever seen him. Oh shit. But that cow. Henry's alone at home. I have to go to him now. Uh-oh. Is that one squatting? What is it doing? Alien's taking a shit in my lawn. I'm gonna record the UFO. This will be the perfect complement for my documentation. You can break some obstacles with your baseball bat middle mouse button. I, okay, can I just say that middle mouse button, wait, holy shit, that's a fucking, okay, is it me, or is that like a Giants baseball bat? That seems really fucking big to me. I'm not really big into sports ball, maybe this dude's just like 5 foot 10. That seems pretty big. <laughs> okay. I love middle mouse button as the main form of attack. Wow, it's okay. Henry, can you hear me? All right. It's a hefty sound. Yeah. Sure. Go that way. Well, the, the fucking gate is closed again. Can I? All right. Are we just watching? I'm not sure. Can I go over here? Yes, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go in and fucking. Can I not fucking break this? What's going on, Royland? Didn't know cows can make those sounds. Cows can make a variety of delightful sounds. Okay. I'm surprised they're letting me go over here if this isn't where I'm supposed to go. Usually it'll railroad me and tell me to go somewhere else. Dude, please. We need to find the keys and drive. That would be the best shit ever if we could run some aliens over. Hello, the clip. I have never felt tall in my life. I'm a 5 foot 10 subhuman. I'm a dwarf. But without the beard, I'm just a little creature, a gnome. Maybe I should turn around. Okay. Well. All right. Okay, this is open now. More a horror game that lets you leave at any point. I want a horror game about dolphins, personally. I feel like that's an untapped market. Got a lot of potential. Uh-oh. I thank you, Default Whiner, for the six months. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. There a diving horror game coming out? Probably, but we we're, I'm talking dolphins. Like, eh, motherfuckers. Alien in the cornfield. Saw this yesterday. He must report this to Brandon tomorrow. Hmm, he wrote a note to himself. I think he had Alzheimer's. Oh. 
I'm sure we would take their, their alien report very seriously. How goes it? Well, I'm playing this alien game. It's pretty cool. It's probably the best game I've ever played. I think he had drugs. Man. I'm 100% sure there will be an Orca versus Fishing Boat game soon. That's... Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny that they're just, like, ripping the rudders off of boats now. Love orcas. They're so cool. I remember there being a fence through the cornfield. I just need to get around the side over there. Echo the Dolphin needs an epic reboot, so there's all kind of articles about it being the Dark Souls of Dolphin games. I mean... Alright. I'm gonna say something fucked that might, that might upset some of you, and this is not meant to be, like, a jab at the games necessarily but i saw like a wow 2023 has been a banger year for video games post and it's like remakes in diablo were basically the entire fucking body of the list of banger games that came out in 2023 and it's like come on dude <laughs> like, <laughs> and i like the resident evil 4 remake don't get me wrong it's just like fuck dude it's just we're really just at this point huh I thank you for the raid, Russ. Appreciate it. I hope you had a good stream. Thank you for the resub, Angel. How are you? How are you two doing? A little springy. Hi-Fi Rush, I've heard good things about it. I also think it might be finally time for me to get back into World of Horror. Just think about playing that. Blizzard literally did nothing wrong. Oh no! I was hoping it was just going to crash into that. Better than previous year? I mean, better than, than Elden Ring? I don't know, dude. Maybe I'm just a FromSoft fan, but I feel like last year no! was pretty good ju just no, because of Elden guy. Ring. Like, it carried everything else. Even if nothing came out, that game was fucking phenomenal. I need to I need to get into playing the Zelders. I've heard that... The, the Trail of the Kingdom, or whatever the fuck, is pretty good. Tolo just... Tolo just what? Tears of the Kingdom is amazing. Must find Henry. So, did we just go into this fucking corn... Was the purpose of going into this cornfield... Oh, okay. Alright. Is a good game, bad Zelda game, y'all? The guy still just got abducted right in front of you? Oh, that's okay. And he just took him. Guess I didn't fucking see. I saw the, the UFO, but... I don't know. Space Marine 2. There's another indie game that came out recently that I want to play called, uh... Exorsh or something. Got a really weird name. Probably play it off stream. Ayla Mouse recruited him. Hold on, can I? Oh, here. Maybe I can see it again. Uh, thank you, Joel Jutsu, for the 61 months. I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bad Zelda game, like back when Twilight Princess was the worst. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that's just what Zelda is now, right? Okay, so let's do that again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I swear, Scout's Honor, I'm gonna pay really good attention so I can see, I can see the kid get abducted. Can you count down from ten? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, thank you, Joel. Uh, ten, nine, eight, seven, five, three, six, two, one. Happy birthday, Joelle! Woo! Yeah! Did it. So proud of you. So so glad I know you. Man, you, you've made so much progress in your walk with God in these last couple of years. Any 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 godly man would, would be so proud to just be, you know, in your presence. Woo. Party. I think I remember there being a fence through the cornfield. I just 
just need to get one over there. All right. And then with the Westboro Baptist Church? Yeah, I mean, didn't uh, that other motherfucker just die recently? You could probably replace him. Okay. Church of Tolomeo? Alright. I'm gonna abduct my son. I thought it was going to be like... Alright. Alright. Poor Henry. I mean... I would probably rather be with the aliens than with this guy freaking out about like his tinfoil hats and shit every day. And it's just me, though. Maybe I'm in the minority on that one. One less mouth to feed in this economy? Let's go... Yeah, for real, dude. Motherfucker will stop eating my Slim Jims. Love to be pro well, no, I'm not talking about being pro. No one's talking about that, Joel. You don't have to make it weird. Not everything needs to go back to, to sex. So I guess there's no way through here. He did say he hated the neighborhood, so he's finally escaped. You know, there are some people who are just like... I don't know, they just... I guess they don't realize how good they have it and will just completely blow everything up just for a change of scenery. Probing isn't sexual, it's science. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. Have you ever been part of the majority in something? Bad, bad, bad what? This is a Christian stream? Part of the majority in what way? Where the fuck am I going? So, it says, find a safe way to your house. Okay. But... Everything's fucking blocked off. Unless, like, a door opened. Not a door. Like, part of the fence opened up. In a bukkake? No, I've never been in a bukkake in my life. But thank you, Captain Crow, for the 49-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I must have to go back to the cornfield or something, I suppose. Not even once? Nah. There's no way people are getting into bukkakis on a regular basis. I guarantee 99% of you have not been in a bukkake. Probably 99.9. Doggo scare me? Yeah, sorry. She's, I think, Autumn saw him, so she's yodeling. Joel, I don't even think you've been in a bukkake. Straight up, dude. You're, you're telling me you just sit in a room and, like, have a bunch of dudes come on you? There's no fucking way. Straight up, straight up, dude. Straight up. Straight TF up. Oh, fuck. Had a threesome? Yeah, you've been talking about it for a while. All your dads have? Maybe. Holocom Bukaki Corner? There's not gonna be a Bukaki Corner. I wonder how many guys have bukkake. No, literally, it doesn't work that way. Like, getting a facial is not a bukkake. A bukkake is specifically being, like, where they got the little fucking calm circle, and it, it's like one dude's just getting owned by everybody, or one girl, or whatever the fuck, or one they, them. It, like, coming on your own face because you missed is not a bukkake. Does that have to be a I guess it could be like a like a like a dodecahedron or something if you really wanted it to be. You sure know it, it's just abundantly clear. It's like it, it's like saying I had a threesome by myself because I have a cock and two balls. You know, there's two balls, so it's a threesome. It's not how it works. It's just not. 
it, it, no. It's immediately apparent to anyone who knows the definition of the word. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. You don't have to. You don't have to do deep diving. Uh, you don't have to watch a fucking fifty-minute Matt Pat lore dive video on it. Right, let's go talk to the police. Holy shit! It's like the police in my town. Good God! Motherfuckers are speeding. Depends on the overall shot strength and volume of the guy. This is unreal. Are we gonna have to look up the, the, the dictionary definition of the Bukaki? Well, I want the top secret documents. Let me in. Expected alien invasion on Grey Hill on May 11th, 1992. Thank you, Listen Angelic, for the 20 month resub. I appreciate it. Doesn't make any sense. Okay. I was half expecting this to be one of those games where you just have infinite bullets inexplicably, but no, I actually have shots. Okay. Get back to your house, okay? I'm, I'm, the, the revelation that Escape tells you your immediate goal is helpful. Bukaki, if more than one person is coming in. I think that cow just said, shut the fuck up, Truby. Oh, hey. Bob, they got Henry. They abducted him using some sort of ray or beam right through the roof. The squad car crashed back there. I think Amy called it. But the car's empty and the office is gone. Ryan, this is an absolute invasion. Do you know what that means? They'll abduct everyone in the village. Absolute Humans, invasion. animals, and every little insect. They'll take samples of everything. Uh, thank you, Bedgehead, for the five-month resub. I appreciate it. Is it an invasion? Sif. I don't want to end up as an alien experiment victim. They already cleaned your house, so I don't think they're going to come back. Hey, big girl, what's up? started to board up your place. This will save us tonight. But, Ryan, we have a little problem. I used up all the nails. This morning, I brought all my nails to the creek. Bed. You gotta be fucking Mr. Creek put me. them on the table in their house. You have to go get them. It's the first house on the left. I think he boarded it all up. All right, I'll but get him. You have to find we a way in. Communicate by walkies from now on. Oh my god. I'm Thank you, Shadow, for gifting us up to an Adam. I appreciate it. We're gonna go find nails now, everybody. First house on the left. Quick, test, test, test. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. I guess it means, Over. it must mean this one. This is kind of on the left. Yeah, I can hear you. Last, way, did it say last house on the it. left? Fuck. Crash squad car back there. Well, we gotta explore Great. every house anyway. Be quiet see. and sneak around. It's dangerous if they hear the shots Spam E when an also, alien got you, you huh? The, the greys could see it immediately. And take note, it's important that they don't follow you into a house. If they do, we're screwed. If it becomes dangerous, hide in a car, a trash can, or something else. I know, I like how they spoil the fact that we're about to be encountering aliens. Brandon would love to see that. Jesus. Okay, Jesus. Come on. I, I feel like if I actually jump at anything in this the Haha ha Mimi alien game, then I, I... I don't know, dude. I should just take a long walk off the short pier. 12 FPS tree. Sorry for the dog barking. Hello? It was loud as shit. No, you're, you're really telling me I can... I, Dude. Okay. Is that the Chihuahua? Yes. He's very vocal. He always has so much to say. Fortunately, we didn't go to Vietnam, so we didn't learn how to jump. 
It's a way to get a splitter total that's dangerous. It's true. Ideally, we follow the lights. Like I said at the beginning, it's true that these lights generally tell you where you need to go. I'm not sure how I get over to this one, though. Good night, bird skin. There is an opening over here I should check out. Press C to crouch. Dude, there's li it's literally been required to crouch to get through, like, the fucking Winnebago. Oh, no! <laughs> yep. Holy shit. He's like, oh, fuck this shit, dude. Okay. Wow. The, the Dude. The, imagine having this. You, bu you build up to the alien. Dun, dun, dun. dun uh. Gets hit in the face with a baseball bat. God damn it. What a way to suck all the tension out of the video game. That's incredible. Okay, well... Certified to Lomeo moment. Here's the nails, I think. Said they were on the table, right? Yes. Defensive position. Make sure they can't they can't come at you from behind. There's bullets over there. I, I didn't miss the bullets. Just got a fucking accurate depiction of humans interacting with aliens. If you guys, I don't I don't remember what it's called. So you guys are going to have to, maybe someone here knows, but there's a story, a short story, where there's like these space-faring aliens who have faster than light travel, but they discovered faster than light travel before like basic things such as, as advanced weaponry. And humanity kind of, humanity as a, as a race was just, uh, they fluked out and, like, faster than light travel was a, a discovery you make really early on in the progression of things. And since they didn't find it, they made super powerful weapons and this race of aliens invaded human beings who had things that were extremely technologically advanced, such as tanks and jets, and the, the invading aliens had, like, flintlock pistols. <laughs> and they got completely owned. They, they invaded human beings. They invaded, I think, San Francisco and got completely lit up and fucked, sucked, uh, destroyed in like an hour. And then humans discovered the, the, the faster than light drive from these aliens and became like the dominant species of terror in the galaxy. The road not taken? Yeah, that's what it was. It's worth a read, although I guess they just fucking spoiled it for you. Oh no! Oh shit! That's Stan E! Oh, he's trying to suck my dick! <laughs> Dude, this is like... <laughs> me, me and Tolo Cop when I meet Joel. <laughs> Although he would be taller than me. Uh, what's going on, Max? How are you doing? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they so easy to fuck up with the baseball bat? I mean, obviously, that's probably not going to work very well when there's multiple, but, like... They do have an unnerving walk. I guess so. It, but that's like saying DSP has an unnerving walk. Like, the way he waddles. Like, yeah, you're right, but like... So? Yeah, I haven't even tried to shoot one yet. It hasn't been necessary, so... It, is the strat like you hit him with the baseball bat three times and then fucking, you know, tap him in the head once and it's over? Great, Ryan, you've got him! 
I've got some ammo. Ryan, this dude has like anime waifu uh, body language. Imagine Red, most living I'm things here. are pretty. But you okay? You're Probably invading a different right planet, right. and you have no I'm weaponry to, to speak of. You just run into a baseball bat and get home. Like they don't have like alien blocks. Brandon, 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 hang on, I'm coming. <laughs> I love this game. He needs your help. In the meantime, I'll try to get my caravan working. They disabled all the cars in Greyhill. How'd they do that? All right, go to Brandon's house. Okay, I guess it's it's this way. Fight via dick sucking. What is the best alien game? And when I say alien, I mean like conventional, like little green, little gray motherfuckers. I'm not talking alien isolation. I'm, I mean like like the Roswell, like Area 52 aliens. 51, sorry, not 52. I don't know how I fucked that up. Goes to Trash Fest? Well, I found out that aliens are very susceptible to being Hello? bludgeoned with a baseball bat. Can anyone hear me? Hello? <sighs> Please, is, is someone there? Area 51. Hello. I can hear you. My name is Ryan. Who is What about this? destroy all humans? I thought people really fucking Thank liked God that you're game. Here. Uh, I'm injured. I'm trapped in a barn. Oh, I know where the barn Jesus, is. Jesus, what's that smell? Who are you? In which barn? There's tons of them. Probably the one he crashed sure his car next to, right? I just woke up here. I, I oh, maybe not. Maybe they took him to a that. different one. You said your name is Ryan, right? I have to tell you something. Okay. The government, they... They know everything. They... They knew the invasion was happening here. They're gonna cover it up. Like they always have. I'm sorry. I, I got here too late. Shit! Listen, Ryan, you have to get as much tinfoil as you can. At least <laughs> <laughs> this is so fucking Hello. dumb, dude. Uh, you think that was that cop that crashed his car? How does he know all of this? Where the hell am I gonna find all that foil? Why can't I hold all this foil? Okay. Five rolls of tinfoil and get to the diner. All right. I think the sign said the dino was that way, so I guess the tin rolls are gonna be in the vicinity. This is gonna be like the Fallout 3 English. I'm sorry for the dog storm. We live in a zoo. Sif. Sifferoni and cheese. Sif. Sifferoni. Sifferoni. Come on. Come on. Be a good dog. Category 5, SIF event. Dog circus, hell yeah, dude. It's easy to cover up an invasion when the aliens must be whacked. So you know someone got home. Yes, uh, Autumn got home. No, the dogs are fucking freaking out. Hold on. Let me let SIF out so she can go see Autumn. Ugh. Alright, so she got peed on. Seems like things are going well down there. Oh, maybe she brought pizza? I can't eat until I finish this game, although I am starving. I only had Pop-Tarts today. Oh, yeah, the Chihuahua, when he gets excited, like, he pees all over himself, and sometimes it hits you. Like, I can never... I can't with him. Little motherfucker, little goblin. I hope they're brown sugar. What's going on, Rouser? I only eat Wildberry. Wildberry's the best. I thank you, Logan, for the dubs. Maybe one day we can get trips. How are you, dude? Have you seen this fucking game? This seems like a game you would really enjoy. It's just like For Honor. It's a Chihuahua sprinkler. That is wild. It is, yeah. Man, I fucking love Wildberry Pop-Tarts, dude. All right, so if you were a roll of tin foil, where would you... Oh, wait. What? All right, well, why dwell on it?
Alright, I'm gonna fucking alien up. Where you at, pussy? Huh? Little freak? Holy shit, that is a shiny fucking pan. I played For Honor with Shub? Holy fuck, dude, like... That has the same energy as I got- I got waterboarded in Guantanamo Bay. God damn. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Okay. Poor honor, holy fuck. Alright, so we got one. About to watch the hunter become hunted. Oh shit! Get away from me! You like these combos? Alright. I... Are the aliens... Wait, 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 wait. Check the spacing. Oh shit, he's stuck in my dick! Come on, baseball bat, please! Don't you walk away from me, pussy! <laughs> what?! What?! <laughs> This, this is the fucking game of the year, for sure. Baseball bat, come on! Oh, Jesus Christ. It's so inconsistent with how frequently you can use it. God damn. I'm getting owned by these fucking aliens. Why does he make that noise when he's going down? I don't know, they make... They, they sound like a small animal just getting fucking owned, like falling down or something. All right. Is there there must be a stamina system. That's the only thing that makes sense. I guess that yeah, that's probably what's happening there. Um okay. Factor opinion chat. We're playing that game again. I'm about to say something. You're going to tell me whether what I say is a fact or an opinion. This game would be five times scarier if the aliens were replaced with baby Yodis. Baby, baby Yodis from the the the, the Mandragorian. <coughs> Excuse me. Rough. You know what, his name's, he has a name now, he's not Baby Yodi anymore, he's, uh, like Grombus or something. Club shit, oh, that would be, be way cooler than whatever they, they picked for him. Grombus is such a better name, yeah. Rhombus is pretty good. They should hire me for the next Star Wars. You'd think I could make a good Star Wars series? I'd have Truby be the protagonist and Joel would be the sidekick. Misa would be like the the the, the main villain. So do I we I guess all these motherfuckers just got one one roll each and we gotta go in and Steal their tin foil. So this should be four. Joel is the token gay robot. Yeah, Joel could be like queer three PO or something. Okay, Joel, you're more than a token to me. You're my friend. Uh, you know. Not queer three PO. No, you would be for sure. Like, you, you, like, come on, dude. Oh shit! 
I like how they make the little the little fucking uh, ice Poseidon tongue noise. Okay. Okay, so I just... This is two shots to kill the fucker. I found it! Oh shit, and the diner's open? Oh my god, it's my lucky day, dude. That should be enough. I should check in on Amy. She has to be in the diner. I was about to say, who the fuck is Amy? Amy Rose? Where's Amy? She should be here. Gee, I don't know, asshole. There's aliens everywhere. She's gonna jump out from like under the pool table or something and scare the shit out of me. That's it. That that would be the good jump scare setup here, I think. At least the the the, the straightforward path. Oh. Huh. Well. Yes. Dude, she's got to be here then. She's got to be here. All right. If I were, if I were Amy, where the fuck would I be? Maybe I'm blind. Maybe everyone has already saw her, and I'm just the only one who hasn't. It's more likely that I got to pick up a note or something. It's like, I was here at the diner, and then an alien came in and ordered in order Bud Light. I called him woke, and then he probed me. Oh. I have a feeling that's more likely in line with what's gonna happen. Fucking woke aliens need to get out of my goddamn redneck town. I still can't believe they made a video going into Target and like like doing the anti Target rap. We're in the barn in front of the diner, okay. Isn't it so strange how people use woke now? It feels like just yesterday people were calling themselves woke as like a term that they were enlightened. Now it's just, I don't know. Language changes so fast these days. Let me in! Fairness to aliens or character turns four wooden planks to splinters with a single bat. Yeah. Well, no, it makes sense that the aliens get e-fucked, uh, Christian mingled, ex-hamstered, uh, fucking blacked out com by the baseball bat. That, that's not the part I'm having trouble with. Like, even if they're extraterrestrial in origin, like, blunt force is a hell of a drug. The problem I'm having is why do they try to, like, come up and, like, play tummy sticks with me? Why don't they have any sort of weapon or armament? Like, is no... Did everyone else just, like, completely let it happen and just... Let the aliens choke them out? Frauding with the greys in the barn. I want to give you head? I guess so. Maybe they like to be... Maybe, maybe, dude. Maybe, maybe, like... Getting hit in the fucking head with a baseball bat is like the alien version of whippets or something. God, you're here. Are you okay? No, nothing is okay. They abducted Henry. I have to find a way inside that UFO. What the Meanwhile, fuck was that noise? I've been trying to get to Brandon's house because he's in trouble too. We'll help you, Ryan. The cars don't drive anymore, but maybe this old biplane does. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Just run out into the woods. You're not getting him back. Close. How the hell are we gonna get inside? Fucking Red Baron. The the the, the goddamn aliens. Okay. He is on the farm to get some stuff. Can you tell him that the biplane is almost repaired? All right. And by the way, that officer you called. Who's the woke motherfucker who named them biplanes? What's up with that dude? Who we gotta boycott I now? I found some odd documents about Greyhill in a squad car. I never call the police. Brandon forbid that. 
Yeah? But I thought you don't listen to our chief. Usually I don't listen to him. This time I did. Hello, Andy. I What's up? Called him then. I don't know. I'll go talk to Matt now. Uh, all right. Fine. We'll find a solution to rescue him. Where are we going? Oh wait, wait. We're still talking to him? Her? Sorry, I, I'm. I'm so sorry. It just says talk to Andy. Okay. Yo, what up, Playa? How are you, dog? Is that you? Oh, I just have dog pee all over my leg and nice. the usual. Yeah, that's what's up. Is it Mimi? Banjo. Oh, Banjo. He's just a puppy. I know. He's just a little bit. Very excited to see me. Did he do he his little, like, weird leg. grasshopper jumps? Yes, he did. He's so cute. And how was work? Need to find a key. Uh, painful. Painful how you get jumped on? No, I'm having very intense pain right here. In your Every diaphragm? time I lean over, lean over. I think it's my lower esophagus. Gotcha. It's probably the aliens. Probably. I want to see the grasshopper yumps. I don't know how to describe them. They're like. We'll have to take a video when we yeah, get he time does this next time. When he gets excited, he does this thing. It's like I, I, he I don't counts know. Bounces. He basically pounces. I guess so, yeah. My dog does little yumps. She's pregnant? No, I'm not. I literally just went to the doctor yesterday. What the I, oh, Okay. I'm sure doctor here you should take some Tums or antacids. I already uh did. They don't help. I have not been doing my yoga. I'm sorry. I've been in. I've been having issues. Sif, what are you eating? Let's see. You got the fucking fish food, Sif. You bitch. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. I I hear an ice Poseidon. It sounds like they've actually got weapons now. They do. Okay. Well, let's see if their weapon is a match for baseball bat. <laughs> You're lucky I only have one bullet, fucker. Alright, so I guess we're just wandering around until we find this alleged mat. The flashlight really doesn't seem all that useful in this. Last one's reserved, Punk. Beat him to death in the ground. I don't know if that'll work. I feel like I've tried that. Thank you for making me feel a bit... I'm literally doing nothing but punching aliens with a baseball bat. Because I'm not really punching them. You know, I'm, I'm clobbering them. I'm fucking them up. Did you get pizza? Yeah. I'm so hungry. Thank you. I have to beat this game as quickly as possible so I can go eat. Need to need to pull up the game facts guide. It's more enjoyable than what my evening has been. Why? What's wrong? What happened? Let's. I wish I was bisexual. Imagine your porn archive growing exponentially in like a day, but having I had to settle for only penis focused porn. Not even men, but just like only cock. Weird. It, just, it does, dude. So, oh, wait. That's probably not Matt. Screw me over where I might not have a place to live? Oh, fuck. Dude, these aliens are fucking idiots. Look at these fuckers. They don't even know. Penises are great? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying there's so much more to a man than just a penis. You know? I 
Like, I, I saw that, uh, what, what was trending on Twitter? What was it fucking called? Gooch Dreams. Yeah. That's part of being a man. Fuck this alien behind the tractor. Hello, that dude. Thank you for 44 months. What's up, dog? Turns out, I guess I shouldn't have wasted my bullets on those other ones, huh? Noises remind me of the puffer fish with the carrot. That video's so fucked up. That poor puffer fish. I need to find the key. Okay, so maybe. That's right. If I were a key to a random door in some bumblefuck farm town, I'd probably never be found. I have Red Baron and DiGiorno frozen pizza in my freezer. Uh, DiGiorno, for sure. Well, it, it depends. It depends. Okay, so... Is it a good or a bad day, Nahoa? If it's a good day, eat the DiGiorno and make the day even better. If it's a bad day, just do the Red, the red Baron. Would you eat a puffer fish? Sure. Hello? Is there a key in here? I feel like I've been playing a lot of games lately where when you go into an outhouse, you actually shit, and you shit with ferocity. So I'm kind of surprised that that's not the case here. The tombstone's pretty good. But the journal stuff, cross. Mm -mm -mm. It's just so fucking expensive. It's good, but it's not. It's not good enough to warrant the price. The best pizza, though, frozen pizza-wise, bruschetta, for sure. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, shit. Alien axe. No, 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 no. We're not talking about alien axe wounds. That's simply unacceptable. Where the fuck did this asshole put his key? Is it in between the books? Oh, dude. We need to stop talking about food, though. I'm getting very hungry. Well... Fuck. Me looking for the key? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Of course. How could I be so naive? Duh. That's, that's where I would keep my key, too. It's in the middle of the fucking seat of the truck. Yeah. All right. Hello? Hello? Help, I'm, I'm locked in here. At least you're safe. Matt, what are you doing in there? No response. Aliens came and I... I hid in the safe and now I'm... I'm locked in here. Oh, shit. Okay, um... I don't know the code, but I'll look for it. So just hang on. What do you... Wait, 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 wait. Wouldn't Ryan, he have the code? You don't think that they, um... You know... Probe us... When we become what? abducted. I don't know, man. They abducted Henry. I'm trying not to think about that right now. Just hang on and let me get you out of there. All oh, right. We'll help you. Please. Please look for the code. My back hurts already. But make sure the greys don't follow you into this room. Otherwise, you have to lure them away. Or we could just fucking, I don't know, maybe shoot them? Kill them? Inflict extreme violence upon them? Alright. 
So the code. I mean, where do we even begin? You would think the asshole who owns the house would have the key, uh, the, the password to the safe, but I guess that's too much to fucking hope for. I guess it's just scrawled on, on some papyrus out in the fucking boonies over here somewhere. What a nightmare. With a tiffy, but the reason the reason I'm not thinking that's a thing, okay, 1969. He couldn't remember 1969. I mean, maybe he was the guy that was mentioned as having Alzheimer's in the in the note. But no, it it, it couldn't have been in here, because it said like if an alien gets near, you have to lure him out, and it wouldn't get into in here if you could, you know. I'm gonna go talk to Amy about our plan to rescue your son. Can you go and search for a barrel of kerosene? Yeah, I know where it is already. Yeah, I'll go find one. You just better have that plane ready. Plain and simple. Alright. So... How are we feeling about this game so far, chat? It's pretty scary, right? 10 out of 10. Fucking awesome. Game of the year. Pretty good. I It was going to be this or the Vetus game for the stream tonight. I was like, man, I could do the Vetus game or I could get probed by aliens. I guess next stream will be the fucking Vetus game. Isn't that exciting? Hello, Visku. What's up? How are you? Let's bring it to the bar. Hello, Neko. The gray agenda. This is much better than Vetus. You're probably right. That's that's the thing. That's the thing. Give up on Amnesia? No, I want to do it on like Saturday or the weekend or something. I uh, Matt gifted me the game, so I'm going to play it. I just have a million things to fucking play. I, it, and it seems like every day more shit comes out. I don't know. Hitting the aliens with the baseball bat is funny, but like... If this is your... I don't know, man. This is not bad compared to some of the fucking Vetus games I play. Oh, right. I have to go to the bar. My bad. Martyr Logarius. Nice. Good job. You enjoying Bloodborne? Having a blast? Subnautica right now. I can only play for 30 minutes at a time Ryan. without pissing myself. Ryan, can you hear me? Oh, yep. I like how it does it for you if you take too huh? long. A pwn! I can hear you! What happened? I'm not sure. I... I can't think straight. They cut me. Bad. I think I got away before they could finish. They put something in me. It's cold to the touch. Some kind of metal, maybe. I'm almost at the church. Can you see it? Meet me inside. We need to talk about next steps. All right, I'll be right there. Okay. Plastic baseball bat would be funny to beat them with. Why ring the fucking church bell when you already told them where to go? Well, we have to get to use echolocation to find which part of the gate is is down so we can get over there. Maybe the aliens are ringing the bell? I want to make an alien game now. Maybe like a game where the aliens and Sasquatch are in league with one another. I think that could be pretty cool. Okay, that, uh, it opens. Okay. Is this Amnesia 3? No, it's not. We're gonna play that, though. What's going on, Cipharoni? This is a game about aliens. Like, really scary aliens who, tr who are trying to put cold things inside of you and finish inside of you. Aliens could ring my bell. Would you? And behold, a stormy wind came out of the north, 
a great cloud with a fire enfolding itself, and the brightness round about it, and out of the mist thereof as if it were glowing metal. Your out mouth wasn't moving the fire, there for a second. And out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. Been approached to make a game. Who and in their right their mind would appearance. approach me to make a game? They had That's the very nice that you man. think someone would do that. But... Roar. Don't you hear that I'm preaching? Stop interrupting me! I've had people tell me about games they're making it, uh, related to the stream before, things like opponent. that. But not like, hey, bro, you want to come you make a game? Can secure you from the angels of God? Father, those aren't angels. This is an alien invasion. They abducted my son, and I need to save him. Who knows what they're doing to him? Ryan, he is in God's hands. <laughs> What do you think would I give that the angels take me? Your what? <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 wait. What the fuck did he just say? What the fuck is going on, dude? I feel like I'm on drugs right now. Okay, so I guess Jesus has alien powers now. Hello's the duck. Well, no, he got beamed by the aliens. Uh, that They established that that's what they do. That's what happened to Henry. So I guess he got sucked up by the saucer. I don't think he actually has alien powers. It just looked like it. Wait a fucking minute. Hold on. What? Okay. That's the confession room. Thank you, sincerely, Livy, for the 30 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. But yeah, yeah, there's just been a ton of games. Like, I still want to play Bet on Brutal. I actually found out today, I was looking at it, and Bet on Brutal was made by the guy who made Halo Wall Loophole, which was another amazing game. I need to play Try Not to Have Gay Sex with EV 7 fucking 100. I, the new Amnesia. Uh, the new Vetus game, maybe. Got a lot of a lot of games. Uh, if you give me father for what I'm about to do, what kind of game is this? It's Aliens, uh, alien horror game. I played it because a lot of other people have played it, and they say it's really comically bad. Opone, I'm here. Ryan, glad to finally meet you. Listen, these motherfuckers—they they probed me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help you anymore. <laughs> Set me here. Take it. You took my son. Do you know how to get him back? Call the number. You'll know what to do. He'll help you find your son. Help you stop this invasion. He's Holy fuck! Don't call anybody else. Not the police. That's like a bad dragon, dude. They won't help you. <clears throat> Not unless you want to end up in the psych ward if you survive all this. Only trust the man on this number. <clears throat> That's environmental storytelling <laughs> right I there. In a goddamn graveyard. <clears throat> <laughs> Died of heavy anal oh, bleeding. A bone. Don't die, goddammit! Where the fuck am I gonna find a working phone? Oh my god. Come on, come on. Let me... Let me pick the good fucking flashlight up. Alright, so I have a question for you guys. Let's say hypothetically... You met the man or woman of your dreams in terms of personality. They're everything you ever asked for. You know? Like, they're the perfect person to complete your life. They have all the sensibilities you look for. They're kind. They care about you. But they're a fucking... They're one of these gray-ass alien motherfuckers. Would you? Or would you not? No, they are short. 
standards and probes like that, maybe. I would learn to love them. Do they have the probe? I'm desperate enough. Absolutely, as long as they tickle my belly. Yeah, they'll, they'll spoon with you. They'll, they'll give you butt rubs. They'll fuck it. Whatever you want. Are they packing a hog? I think they might have a cloaca. I'm not sure. Butt rubs? Yeah, Joelle's excited now. I need a good short king. Can they wear a wig? I mean, I'm sure they would for you. Alright, so our objective now is simply to find a working phone. Alien's got long ass fingers. Oh, it was just okay. Yeah. Can they play instruments? Those things in Star Wars bars? That would be cool. But no, they'd just be like normal people. They would just look like a fucking alien, you know? They wouldn't actually be aliens, I guess. They would just have the physical appearance of the little gray fuckers. Dude, there is someone who lives near me who has a mailbox that is just a fish. That shit is so cool. t Dog slideshow, oh, is it lagging right now? It might be my idol game. I, I, I'm playing a new idol tower defense game. I've fallen back in the pit. Dude, dude this is what it's like to be 5'10 driving a pickup truck. Game just framey at times. Working phone. Oh. Out of order. The phones are down. Obviously. Obviously. Guess I'll have to check the telecom pedestal down the street. The alien deal. Okay, telecom pedestal down the street. Whatever the fuck he said. Are you gonna play Ginal Fantasy 17? Oh, probably not. Don't you need a PS quintuple? I don't know. I still haven't played 15. Like, I haven't played Final Fantasy in fucking... I don't know. Everyone seems to really like what they've seen of it so far, though. Even Stowe was like, I have no complaints about the demo. And that's like... I don't know, dude. That's high praise coming from him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh... <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, 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 oh no. Oh no, oh dear. Oh, oh man, what am I gonna do? Uh, Flamma. Later, pussy. Demo for si Yeah, I've heard it's really good. I might wait like a million years for the PC port. I, I know that apparently that's not even being discussed right now with their dev team. I saw my mods talking about it in the mod chat, but I can wait. Like, I'm not really... I'm not going to play something as long as Final Fantasy on my stream in, in any scenario. Like, I don't think there's a universe where anyone wants to watch me play like a fucking 7 million hour long JRPG. So, it would be something I'd play on my own. I can wait if that's the case, right? Uh... I am a patient son of a bitch. I have been waiting. Oh, dude, we're going to... All right, all right. Check this out. This is the strat. Oh, fuck. Okay, not this. I just want to... It's like an alien sucky real quick. Can the aliens open doors? Oh yeah, they can. It's fine. This game's not that bad. Half of the fucking horror games that get made, if you did that, they wouldn't be able to open the door, I feel. Just stuck in there. I like this game. I see why people give it shit, but at least it's funny. What's up, Warlock Coffee? Good night, portable jerk ops. Uh oh, where? Oh, 
I'm out of stamina. Out of stamina? Yeah, I don't. I, I have pectus excavatum, Joel. It means I, I have a hole in my chest and my lung capacity is reduced. If I was a character in some shitty, like, flavor of the month roguelike game, I would have minus 15% stamina. I'd be like the joke class, like how in Bloodborne you have, like, waste of skin, where the description is you are nothing, you shouldn't have been born, you are a waste of skin. Me AF, I think, is, uh. What's he looking at? Well, wow, that's some nice dirt. An ant. <laughs> but the aliens are slightly too tall, like they aren't short enough to fit the unnatural statue of the typical gray. We have an alien. A Cifferoni's a fucking alienographer now. You are a history teacher, I guess, so it makes sense that you know all about those ancient aliens, am I right? I feel like you would be a better host for Ancient Aliens than that other fucking guy. You should do it. The gray aliens have to be short stacks. Is there like a manual where you're getting this from? The circuit board is broken. Where the hell am I gonna find one of those? Oh, good. I have to find a circuit board now. That seems like it's gonna be a straightforward and easy task. Uh, I'm about to get chased by one of these. Whoa, dude. Uh, I jumped. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, Bukaki. Damn it. What's going on, Pokal? I got abducted, everybody. I died in the fucking shitty alien game. Embarrassing. Okay. Oh, I'm all the way back here? Holy fuck. Wine, wine, wine? Yeah, that's all I do. Okie dokie. Oh, wham. Oh, wham. Okay, I guess I didn't get it. Got double penetrated, tummy tickled? Yeah, they, we were playing tummy sticks. Video game protagonist? I mean, I'm whining too. I don't want to find this fucking circuit board. I feel like you get a pass if you're in a if you're in fucked up alien land. I'd be whining too. Are you kidding me? Little fuckers want to probe me. You know, IRL damage by holding off the pizza eating. The alien DP is out of control. All right, sorry. I need to put my game face on. There's a chance the pizza will be lukewarm when I finish this, right? I feel like we're, we're approaching the end. Maybe. Do not hit the alien on the ass with a basket... What is it fucking called? A baseball bat. Not a basketball bat. That's not what that is at all. Seems really try not to have gay sex with the alien. I mean, I, I guess so. Oh, come on! Not again, dude! These little motherfuckers! Uh, the music just stopped, huh? Alright, alright, alright. We gotta... God damn it, I don't have enough stamina. Did it. Just 
just imagine. They want us. What? Oh, dude, dude. What? Oh, I'm calling shenanigans on that one. I hit him and he grabbed me anyways. The game is 20 hours long, and you just lost the game. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of these fuckers now, huh? T dog milking. I, I'm, I'm a big, uh, sexy cow milf that's getting milked by the Alamals and then Kentucky. So I guess I shouldn't just sprint through. I should try to actually go at a normal pace. I think we all just lost the game. I feel like a lot of people in here aren't even going to know what the game is. Why did the bullet affect my Because they're two different damage levels. Like, the bat just incapacitates them. The bullet actually damages them. But you need two bullets to kill them. You have to double tap the alien. What's going on, Jim I'm not sure why I fired other than to just, like, stagger him briefly. Yeah. Aliens can hit me with those wet ones in the front and in the back if they want it so bad, no cap. <laughs> GFC, what the fuck are you talking about? Where's the other one? It, it made the sting twice, so I'm assuming there's a second alien. Sound they make when they go down on you? I, I, the worst noise they make is when they're just chilling. They don't see you when they're going. Oh. They're looking for for weird ass goodies like mushrooms or truffle pigs. Don't you make that cat face at me? You know that's the noise they make. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not being weird. I'm being completely down-to-earth, reasonable, and normal right now. And people making the cat faces are the ones who are weird. Well, fuck my ass and call me Charlie Sheen. What's good, Henroy? You're simply joking? Tolomeo said so. See, that's not an emote for a reason, because I'm, I never say anything weird. Ever. Alien probe. Holy shit. Someone took this one deep. Look at those stains. Good God. What's going on, Noodle? How are you, dude? Stupid motherfucker. Not you, Noodle. The, the alien. Do any of you believe in, like, the, the little gray motherfucker type of alien? I know, I know most people, I think believe in aliens is like uh there must be something out there kind of thing but i'm talking like these little motherfuckers like showing up and and uh, huffing your bongs does the gun actually kill them yes they die if you use the gun Not be afraid of this entity? I don't know, man. They're pretty frightening. I feel like at some point I saw a circuit board in one of these houses. I know I haven't found the phone yet, and the circuit board probably most... Well, no. The gas spawned before I needed the gas, so maybe it is... 
somewhere out there already. I just gotta find the little telephone thingy. I believe it would be this way. We'll grab him by his fucking neck. But what if they were really strong? My dad believed in the lizard aliens, and I'm almost certain it's because he liked V. I think if they're aliens more than microbes, they might be so far away we can never reach each other. Yeah, what if there are aliens who are really similar to us and they're just, like, jelking it right now? Like, millions, billions of light years away. I mean, if you live in lizard people in China, some random Slovakian country created an artificial sun and launched into space. What does liking Vag have to do with lizard aliens? Well, that's a good question. I'm having a hell of a time navigating this place. been in here for sure, I think. Why are we looking for the bong? I I mean, what else is there to do in this podunk fucking town? It's like where Ciferoni lives. Alrighty, where? I had such an easy time finding this before. Here it is. Jesus Christ. Just bought this game last night, so you should have, dude. You should have gotten really fucked up, like really drunk too. Oh baby, I heard your footsteps. Badass fucking alien. Use Healy's next time, pussy. Give me the thing. Hmm. And the circuit board is broken. Where the hell am I going to find one of those? That's a good question. Are you getting faster? No, I don't think so. I'm just I'm, I'm just trying to sprint through and using all of my stamina and everything. How about the plane? I have no idea. This is almost a one-to-one -one replica of my neighborhood. I believe it. I shouldn't go that way. Alright, if I were a circuit board... In rural Kentucky, where would I be? This is gonna be. Wait, wait, no, this seems. No, this does not. But there's a light. Okay, the circuit board's in here. The light told, told me. Yep. That's hey, exactly where you keep work. those. And, and some fucking shitty little shed with holes in the ceiling. Hello, Hubert. What's up? How are you? You looking forward to Final Fantasy, bro? Oh, come on! Little fucker. I'm not gonna talk some shit, huh? Got some nerve. Apprehended me on Shabbat. I want to buy a PS5 for Tuffle, but I, yeah, I, that's literally what I was saying, too. Dude, fuck off! I don't want my dick sucked! This is like Joel. Every fucking stream. Oh, hey, Gay Bader. Fuck you. I'm not. I don't. No. I just want to fucking fix the goddamn thing. Fucking Joel. Okay. I, I, I did. There. 
That should about do it. Now time to call this Mystery Man. Mystery Man. It's Grey Hill. No, the fuck. I should have saved my bullets. This dude's literally just camping the fucking phone. You're on a gay beta? Where did Joel come from? I can tell you definitively where Joel came from. He came from a fellow friend and streamer, t -Lex. Queen of the gays. She said, Tolomeo, you are a strong ally to our cause. I will give you a vassal. His name is Joel. And I've had I've had him ever since. So how do I fucking use this thing? Oh, do, oh, I I have okay. I see. I'm a dummy. This isn't actually where the literal phone is. Trying to get rid of him ever since. I've I've tried to give him back repeatedly, and she she denies me every time. Confuse Huber with Kanglo? That's fucked up. That's like when people say Truby is Shub. It's like... I don't know, dude. It's like confusing Danny DeVito with Allah. It's like, how do you... Regardless of how you feel about those two characters, it's like, it's not even remotely comparable. They never talk. He talks all the time. Misa told me that, that she put the mute button on him because he posted a kid throwing up or something. So he posts enough to get a, a moderator attention from Misa Coco. So. I guess you can. It's 1984 in there. I can't even post children throwing up. Unreal. Actually blocking? This is ridiculous. Damn. You, well, you might be blocking, but there's no accounting for those online combos, Hubert. Kangler can't post a piss? Yeah, I wonder why. It, it's it's a miracle, right? I, I literally, like, just took that off of him one day. I was like, oh, it's all right. We, I'll take it off. And then the, he, he said something, like, passive-aggressive that annoyed me. And I was like, okay, I'll give it to you back. But you don't say no more, fam. So he had his chance. He had several chances. Keep it on him. I like Kangler, but the motherfucker toes the line. He likes it. He does. He likes the punishment. He's always like, Daddy Misa. Daddy Misa. Uh, I'm peeing myself, Daddy Misa. Do you think this might be game of the year for sure? No, don't re-censor him. I just uncensored him. Yeah. Uh, hey. My name's Ryan. I'm calling from Grey Hill. Your friend Depone gave me this number. He... He's dead. I'm... I'm sorry. He told me that he came too late and that I should call this number. Depone is dead? Ryan, did he tell you about using tinfoil? And if so, do you have enough? Yeah, I got it. Listen, they took my son. He's on board one of those fucking ships. A pwn said you can help me. Yeah, I can. Now listen to me and do what I tell you. Wrap your entire body in the tinfoil. Completely cover yourself head to toe and let them abduct you. This sounds like a I bad idea. Crazy, but if you want your son back, you have to trust me. Uh, seriously? Yes. Ryan, trust me. Hmm? Who exactly are you? And how do you know this works? Fuck. I 
This is the most stupid thing I've ever done. I don't think that's true. All right, that's it. God, I look like an idiot. Yeah, they left us though. The phone so this plane won't work. I have to warn them. Okay. Amy, can you hear me? Matt, Matt, can you hear me? Oh, fuck. I'll try it again later. Where's the plane? I don't hear them anymore. Oh, I got abandoned. I did all the work and they left me. All right, this field. Oh, what? Jesus Christ. It's a goddamn UFO parking lot out here. I'm gonna have to go around them. Oh, 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 okay. Ever eat your snack pack with your finger because you're too lazy to walk to the next room and get a spoon? I eat it with my tongue. No fingers necessary. But they, they want to get abducted by the correct ship. Fingers. That's why yeah, you use your tongue. I mean, you don't want to get your fingers but something dirty. Something is wrong with Amy and Matt. Just look it out. Started the biplane to rescue Henry, but I don't know where they are, and I can't hear the plane anymore. They might have been taken by those things. Hey, where are you? What's your plan? I'm pretty close to Brandon's house. This detour took way longer than maybe expected. I should turn around. I hope he's okay. What do I don't you mean have time maybe to explain turn everything, around. but this cop I met, they got him. He's dead. Oh no. I think I'm going in the wrong direction. Oh my god. No. He was Ryan. sent to warn us by a mysterious man who I contacted. And he told me the only way to rescue Henry is to dress up in tinfoil and let them abduct me. I know, I know. It sounds crazy, but if it's the only shot I have to get Henry back, I have to try. into your brain. I'll guide you once you're in it. <laughs> Sounds good. Make sure you get your van up and running. Once I get Henry, we'll drive out and meet with the mysterious man. He can help us figure this all out. This game is gonna be like a hundred hours long or some shit, isn't it? Right, where am I going to get to Brandon's house? As if I remember Wait, uh, where that is. That, that sounds like Amy's walkie. That's Amy! Amy! Amy, are you there? Amy! I can't hear you! Can you hear me? Henry! I'm coming for you! What the fuck God is going it. on? Fuck! Stop yelling! No, please, no! God! You great bastard! Get your fucking fingers out of my dirty ass! <laughs> I do now? Get your fingers out of my dirty ass. Okay. All right. Maybe I should turn around. Turn around. This is satire. Are you? I mean, I hope so. Maybe it is. Get your fingers out of my- This is Mr. LaFletch's house. What was his name again? Matthew! Are you here? Hmm. Is this game considered a disaster? I think this game's a marvelous masterpiece as well. I think, uh... It's gonna set a new standard for indie games. Oh, holy shit. Yo, what up? You got you got aliens in your fucking backyard. This better than I mean, let's be honest though. Better than Gollum is not exactly a high bar to clear. Better than Gollum. Jesus Christ. I don't I just don't remember which house Brandon's is.
honest about it. So this game was... Alright, this is where it is going to be a, a little bit of a holy shit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I paid 25 simoleons for this. Still better than Gollum, though. But it's 25 bucks, which is admittedly a little high. Well, no, I guess that's fine. 25 isn't a lot for a game. It's an indie game, but it's it's higher than usual for indie games. I think... I don't, I, this is just me speculating. I don't, I don't have a fucking business degree or know anything about marketing indie games, but I feel like go that with these sorts of games, it's always better to put it around like the 10, 15 mark so you can get, like, that's like the, the range where people buy it and stream it a ton. Although I guess this game's been streamed a ton. Just seems like the sweet spot to me. 10 bucks seems like a... Dude, I cannot find my way around this fucking place. Spent a hundred dollars for Diablo. Admittedly. Admittedly, as much as I like like shitting on Blizzard, if you do like Diablo, the chances are you're going to get so many hours out of that fucking game that a hundred isn't like an obscene. I wouldn't pay a hundred. I wouldn't buy it early. But I can understand why people would do that. That was Brandon's kid. She's still in the house. It already cut. No, I agree with you. I'm just saying people probably rationalize it that way too. Like, you're gonna be spending like probably hundreds of hours if you go by uh, hour per dollar in analysis. I can see people justifying it that way. For a different game, maybe I would be. Well, I don't. I actually don't know what the fuck I'd pay a hundred dollars for game-wise. Pleasantly surprised it wasn't a dumpster fire on launch like most hyped-up games. Remember the release of Diablo 3 still with the fucking cash auction house and everyone was pissed. Good times. I need to find something to break this door. Wait, what do you mean? Okay. Pay one hundred dollars for Bloodborne two? Oh, I definitely wouldn't. I hope they never make a Bloodborne two. I feel like not everything needs a sequel. What if Bloodborne two ends up being the new Dark Souls two? It's probably in the car, knowing the game's track record. I mean, who can fucking tell with how dark it is? In the car? Yeah, like a crowbar or something. There's been keys and all sorts of shit in the cars. I don't see it though. Sif, what's wrong? What's the situation? Okay, so I need like a crowbar or something, but I cannot... What about over- Oh, hold on, there is an axe here. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, so it doesn't seem like it's the axe. Some popcorn and get the bed ready? People still think Bioware's a good company? Yeah. I need to find something to break this door. I feel like an axe would be appropriate for breaking down a door. What do you guys think? Oh, wow. I actually am tinfoiled. Holy fuck. Alright, maybe the other house has something. Axes are for babies? 
little, I'm a little baby. I need to get in the house. You see all the, did you all see the dead shepherd statue? No, I have no idea what that is. Oh, hold up, what the fuck is this? I shouldn't go that way. Oh, I can't go that way, guys. I... Can I use this? Okay, come on, dude. Look at this fucking thing. Seriously? Alright. I ever made a statue of the intro to Mass Effect 2 where Shepard is floating dead in space. That sounds awesome. Honestly, impressed that every probe in the game has had a unique model. So it is a little impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Well, this is where Joelle goes on vacation? Dude. Imagine every second someone takes the rescue from aliens being like 10 probings since they can do it at the speed of light. And the gray world, the shape of your probe defines your rank in society. So is it like the smaller ones are better or like the bigger ones are better? Because I know you're probably leaning towards the bigger ones being better, but sometimes it's not how it works. I can't go down this way, right? I think I'm going in the wrong So it has to be something over here. I really feel like it's the axe, but I can't pick it up. There's another axe. Thank you, Great Lord Nesarath, for 45 months. Have you told Sif she's a night? No, she's been a little goblin today, so. I'm probably called her Stinky. Hello, Sanctus Even. Oh my god. Okay, there's a crowbar here. I guess I should have seen that, but like. Oh. You called her a bitch? Do I call her a bitch regularly? Didn't you get one earlier? They're one-time use. Shoddy-ass crow bars here in Kentucky. Stinky snowflake? Exactly, dude. She's a stinky little dog -lum. Little creature. What the fuck is this? Coffee looked weird from that angle. Get ready, you're about to hear some obnoxious Great Dane noises. What if probing? Is this how they say hello? It's possible. Hello, Snoopy. I like the random dead aliens near this house. Rachel! Ryan! Um. Did you kill these fucking aliens? Oh, man. I'm so glad they didn't get you. I was hiding under my bed, but they got daddy. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, shit. In a game full of aliens, this child is the scariest looking my thing. My dad says the government is lying about everything. Well, he's right. But don't worry, though. I'll protect you. I have to get on that saucer to save him, so I'll bring you to Bob, okay? He can watch after you until I come you back with your dad. You can't protect me? My dad says you're a weakling, and you can't protect anybody. Wow. He said you couldn't even save your own marriage. Holy shit! Uh, well, I know he's your dad, but don't believe everything he says. And besides, I killed a few of those aliens on the way over here. Thank you, Lululand, for 58 months. How are you? Shit. Good to see you. Where 
Where's Henry? <sighs> they got him too. Ryan, that sounds like a car. <laughs> what? Jump in front they of him. They must be driving through town, stopping for gas or something. Right. Hey, um, you weren't in Vietnam like my dad was, right? Uh, no. Well, can you check the window? Fuck. Oh shit, give me that. So this is a mean little kid. Oh shit, what's going on in here? Bullets, thank Christ. I can kill one alien. Oh, hell yeah, dude. You got the soda cans on the floor, the beer cans. This guy's living large. I like the shopping cart. This must be where Misa Coco lives. Vietnam victory. A couple young Americans beated a whole horde of Viet Cong. This book tells the story of a couple young Americans, including Brandon Hartman, who beated a whole horde of Viet Cong. All right. I love the America bed sheets. Can't be where Misa lives because uh, no, Misa, Misa's on a weight loss journey. Misa's like, I'm. I guarantee you, I'm fatter than Misa right now. Bet my bottom dollar. Wait, I, I stopped it. Huh? Rachel, no! Where are you going? Stay! Did... Uh, what the fuck is going on with this kid? And what the hell is Brandon teaching his daughter? Damn. Maybe we shouldn't save them. Can't she just shot her? I don't want to use one of my valuable bullets on a child. They're a scarce resource. Fuck. Alright. I'm guessing she's probably not immediately over here, huh? I guess we can find out. The way the invisible walls work is if it lets me go this way, then she's this way. Maybe I should turn around. Can't go that way. What about the other way? There was a building over there that looked conspicuous, so... Based in Blessed Pill Child absolutely owns Soy Draft Dodging Cuck. There's nothing wrong with being a soy golem. I won't take this sort of slander, John Wayne and Crescent. Come on, dude. It would be more sense to let her get abducted if you plan on saving everyone. Okay. The kid's gonna drive the car and run me over. I wonder. No. They if got Romeo him. being next to you wearing the rat mask would look like this emo. Rachel! You have a strange mind. Strange fantasies. What is a soy golem? It is a golem made out of soy. They enjoy things such as Funko Pops, sure Genshin go. Impact, and, uh. Yeah. And, and my stream. I am also a soy golem. I like Gundams, I like to consume. Is that you? Do you consume Soylent? I did once to see what the fuss was about. It tasted like sawdust and I never drank it again. Really nasty shit. Because I, I, I would watch Narcissa write streams and she'd be like, yeah, I replaced all of my food and I only drink Soylent now. Um... I was like, okay, maybe it's really good. Like, I'm gonna try it, see what the, the hype's about. It was pretty fucking gross. Wouldn't recommend it. You start to crave it like crazy, it's so good. I don't believe you. Why were you 
watching that out of all speedrunners? I don't know, dude. I wanted to watch Narcissa Wright, like, fart really loud on stream. It was funny. The fucking, please support me, please. Or that you disgust me. 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 Like, that shit was cash. Thought it was funny. Do I go up here? I need to follow. Wait. Oh, there's the teddy bear. Oh no! That is it. Let them take me. Oh, Rachel, she's still here. It, if I were to make this game, I would make it to where the good ending it would only be receivable if you also pick up the teddy bear's little tin foil hat. Um, like something terrible goes wrong if he doesn't have that. So I just left it there. Completely disregarding the safety of the teddy bear. So this door is closed again, so I'm guessing something new happened here. Rachel! What the hell? Looks like the light from the shed. Okay. Ryan! Ryan, are you here? Ryan! Yeah. Bob. A few of them greeted me some minutes ago. While I was out working on the caravan. Yeah, after taking a photo shoot, I asked him if they wanted to have some coke, but... Bob, it's okay. All good. I got it. Just joking! I imprisoned one in the bedroom, and I put a tinfoil hat on him. That sounds I'm gonna awesome. I'm going to make some experiments. But I won't probe him. Bob, I swear. please stop. Uh, maybe sell him on the black market. I got Brandon's daughter, so I'm a little busy. Uh, what okay. do you need? I found a solution to make the caravan. It'll take me a few minutes to get it done. Oh, Bob, that's great. That's what I needed to hear. It'll be our chance to get out of this town. I have Maybe to I save Rachel first. She's trapped in the barn by the gas station. I'm going to get her. Then we can make a plan to save Henry. Yes, Ryan. We have to be fast with Henry. Okay. God, I hope they didn't start drilling into his teeth. Bob, can you not say shit like that? I don't even want to think about it. I heard Brandon causing trouble for them on the saucer through Amy's walking. I think they're all on the same shit. <laughs> I like yeah, Bob. Bye, Ryan. Same. Jesus Pop Christ. open the Diet Coke in the middle of the alien invasion. Who gives a fuck, dog? We need our aspartame. You know that shit protects you from alien probes? Drilling into his teeth? I mean... Yeah, it's a little outrageous, but... I saw a, a video of a guy who claimed to have electrical burns on his teeth. I, I, and then he showed his teeth and it sure looked like he had electrical burns on his teeth. I don't know if that's really a thing, but holy fuck. God damn. Gnarliest set of teeth I think I've ever seen. <laughs> There's another one off in the, in the distance. I don't know what I expected. Of course you can't just walk into the barn. Goodbye, gum jar. Look worse than King Cobra JFS's teeth? Yeah, I would say so. Okie dokie. Just gotta sneak on through. Seems like we're in a good spot. I don't think they're gonna be able to find me. You know what would be really fucking cool? This whole area is for me. Hold on. You know what? Let me see. Let me turn my little idler game off. Maybe I don't like If it's framey, just let me know. Um, maybe that'll fix it. It doesn't seem framey on my end at all. Idle game, it's like idle monster tower defense or some such nonsense. Get the 
Five FPS adds to the ambience. Oh. The FPS limit's always on. For function. <laughs> He sees me for sure. There's no, literally no way he doesn't. Oh, you weird little fucker. You want to dance, bitch? <laughs> They're so pathetic. Like when you hit them, you just you can. I feel nothing but contempt for them, you know. Like in a lot of games, when you hit someone, you kind of feel a little bit bad, but not these little fuckers. I'm glad they're getting owned. Maybe I can. I'm not sure how to get in here. It's honestly inconsistent, smooth 75% of the time, maybe. Rachel is in there. Why the hell did they use a bike chain to lock the gate? It's crazy. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to find some bolt cutters or something to get through there. Yeah, the best part of the game objectively is hitting the aliens in the fucking face. It's not even arguable. I uh, thank you, Samurai, for 47 months. What's up, dude? Framing anytime an alien spawns, but it isn't framing for you. Yeah, no, I, I haven't seen anything. It's weird. Maybe maybe this was a game made by real aliens and there's like they're getting info on all of us whenever they show up. I don't think these spawn until you until you examine the bike. I wish aliens and Bigfoot and the Loch Ness monster were real. I remember spending so many hours as a kid. Just watching like Animal Planet and the History Channel for for cryptids. Animal Planet used to be the shit. Like the the little I, I, I don't know how to describe it, but those top ten most extreme animals shows where they had like the little computer graphics with like the black and green wireframes. That was so awesome. My childhood right there. Not nice. I don't see Nessie. I want a refund. Man, was it nice? Aside from that, it's the dramas made about lion prides. My uh, my dad used to love Meerkat Manor. It was like his favorite fucking show. Super nice, except for the same one-lane death roads around the locks. Yeah, that sounds like a nightmare. Rachel, I'm here. It would have been really funny if he hit us. Uh, <laughs> I've always wanted to see. Glad that. you're here, and the caravan's working. I'm gonna put Rachel in your bedroom. She needs rest. Bob, seriously, you imprisoned an alien. I, I told you I did it, dude. Just lay her on the carpet. But Hell again, yeah. I didn't probe him. Didn't probe him. Just put a tinfoil hat on him. Ha ha. So funny. Bob. I think he's one of their dentists, not one of their butt drillers. That doesn't sound. I don't good. think they have teeth. I'll go out and try and get its attention. I need to get it to abduct me. It's my I only guess shot they're dentists for Nevada. us. Drive to Nevada and take Rachel with you. I think that's where our mysterious friend is. I'm gonna work with your mysterious friend together to bring you all this to the public. All right. His number is 555-0199. Call him as soon as possible. Bob, all right, I gotta go. Thank you, stay safe. Hey, uh, Ryan, you know, you were the only one who didn't think I was crazy. Thanks for that, man. This is an emotional goodbye. Oh, oh, okay. 
I love you too, man. Wow. Oh, quick question. Do you think it? No, not really. I figured some stuff out, but not enough. Uh oh. So, so did I get abducted? What happened? This is working. Henry? Henry? Are you fucking serious? All right, see ya. Okay, I was. That's a sick ass unicorn horn for the dog, though. Yep, things seem to have worked out pretty good for Rachel and me. <laughs> Ryan and the others, but well, after Ryan was abducted, his dog Max came along, and together we're now on our way to meet this mysterious man. I mean, that was the Grey Hill incident. Time for a new book, yeah? I was expecting like Mothership Zeta with the stupid fucking aliens. Ah, look at me, rambling again. Well, I hope you folks enjoyed yourself. Catch you on later down the road. Hey, Rachel, what was your favorite part about the story of Grey Hill? Uh, what are you just talking What the fuck is this ending? What is this music? Is this Reliant K? What the fuck? <laughs> Huh. I think that might have been like the most anticlimactic ending yeah, I've seen in a long fucking time. Sky, I really did not think it was going to end there. We see. We know Mr. We Black, huh? Whatever we wanna be. Fucking you know, honestly, it, there was a point where, like, towards the end, I'm like, you know, this really is not as dog shit as people were making it out to be. But, come on, like, if you're gonna charge 25 bucks for that, have a real fucking ending. Browser, come on, dude, Don't, do not have headphone PP frog this. Are we liking this song? How are we feeling about this one? It could have been Rouser. In an alternate universe where I managed to get the 9-11 marriage date, maybe. This actually does feel like Sonic new music, though. Thank you, Doug Tavius, for picking this up and rousing. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Is this 
is how you will. Oh man. Wow. Yeah, I played it because people were, were saying that it was, like, really bad and funny and just, you know, why not, right? It was pretty funny at points, I'll admit. But I'm, I'm looking at the Steam reviews right now. Sorry, you probably just heard that. Oh, hold on. Okay. Okay, so, all right. I I played the nerfed version of this game. I'm looking at the patch notes. Less, uh, okay, I'm going to read the patch notes to you. Less duration until stamina starts for charging. Stamina charge is 40% faster while walking. 25% faster while crouch. Alien hearing radius, 40% less. They can't find you easy anymore while hiding in cabinets. Hand crank flashlight lights up 30% faster. Uh, stamina recharges two times faster. Yeah, so I guess the stamina was like a like a hundred times worse before, like uh, two days ago. So huge nerfs, yeah, yeah, and the aliens hearing got nerfed. So we, I mean, that really wouldn't have had anything to do with like punching them at the fuck in the face with the the baseball bat, but you know, I guess it was a little more inconvenient. Can you show your idle game just to see what it looks like? No, you're going to laugh at me. Everyone's going to laugh at me and call me the little fucking shrimp dick Tolomeo. Just like last time. If I could go back to the ocean, go get filtered by a whale, shrimp dick. You think I'm going to... Show game? No, we won't. This is my fucking... Game. It's literally a port of a mobile game. This is how far my gaming... Like, whenever I express... A opinion about a video game, you should disregard it because I play shit like this in my free time. So, you know. Mobile elements. So yeah, that's my idle game. Hello, never ending chimney. What's up, dude? Wave 695? Yeah. So when you said you were drunk and bored. Yeah, and you know what? I'm glad you bring that up, Misa. I, I, I came to you in a, a moment of desperation. I'm bored. Please help me, Misa. And you threw me to the wolves. Playing Papa's game, bro. No judgment, homie. Man's gaming even when he's gaming. I, I, yeah, you got a fucking... You got a video way, though. I play Evertail. I don't know what Evertail is. Hooey. Well, all right. I guess uh, if I stream tomorrow, we'll do Vetus. Isn't that exciting? Is everyone can, can I can I get some hype for for the next Vetus game? We're all really excited, right? Like, woo! Yeah, yeah. Vetus, yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Woo! All right, have a good one, dudes. Thanks for watching the Alien game. I'm gonna eat some pizza. Later.